Previously on Gong. Lucian has two of these shock tails running right behind him, and he's descended upon. If you let me, he comes out yeah, of holding course. a baby sheep. <gasps> and he's like, all right, okay, uh, you gotta back away from it. Back away, I got an idea. Oh, go, no, no, ah. no, no, the sheep! They turn and look at Autumn, shocked that she's running at them, screaming and kicking at them. They see the sheep and they turn and descend on little Herb. Their, all right, all right. their teeth latch in and then they scatter away. Get him inside! Get him inside! He's bleeding! Right. 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 Maybe right. clean the wound. Uh, Lucien, just, just, just breathe. Deep just is breathe, it? breathe deeply. Let me check. It's so deep. Blood starts gushing out as soon as you lift it up. Oh, it's fine. Very really good. Then we should be able to just suture it's it okay. up. Deeper than that, the murray. You know, it'll be fine. Are we ready? Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna lift this up and then. It's gonna hurt, it's gonna hurt. Do it right going. now. You better do, do it right now. Ha. And then uh, he lunges with this red hot spoon, hoping to cauterize some of the wound. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, uh, Ron just goes in with the hot spoon and gets half of Lucian's wound and half of his neck. His skin is being burned. You can't get the whole wound. Oh boy. It's too big. Is it done? Hey, I'm gonna have to go for okay, another pass. Okay, we're almost done. You are able to steal yourself. Run goes in with a second attempt at the spoon. So he goes in with the, this is going to leave a massive scar on him. You need to sew him up now if this is gonna work. And you just have to hope he doesn't get infected. That's a spool of yarn thickness. That's all I got? Is that, is this gonna work? That's, if that's all you have. Okay, all right, yeah, that's um, all I got. We need, we need a She's need gesturing a, and mouthing the words. Needle. Needle. Right. Shh. Yes, we need a needle, Lucian. Yes, I know. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. And he, uh, he runs upstairs. Got this? Yeah, hey, huh? Yeah. Need. Wait, wait. I, 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 I can, I can probably do this. Good, I have you. sewed I'm... before. Well, we are the parts. We can't seem to sew. Shut up. She takes the needle and thread. Oh, okay, you have a plus one. Go. Ah! Okay. She was 12. She was, she was getting on rollerblades and she tore a giant hole in her jeans. She got she blood got, everywhere. She was her grandmother was her teaching her how to sew. That was the very first time she sewed and she's never sewn never skin. skin. So, skin. so she's going to try and just try and utilize that knowledge as best she can in this moment. All right. Uh, that, I think that's that's going to be it. That's, that's the... It is haphazard, but at least you have stopped the bleeding. Okay. All right. Okay. And her hands her are her forearm covered in blood. How is everyone feeling? Uh, tip top. Oh my god! I know, right? Oh my god! That was a rush! I just drowned. Yeah. We drowned yeah. together, holding Adam a robot's hand. What a rush, what a rush. You said this is um where your friends are, right? Last time I talked to them, and we were all together, we was here. I can send some messages. Maybe they've heard something and we can try to find them. Listen, I don't I don't I don't I don't want to be special. I'm I'm okay with just being a normal guy. I've always thought I wanted to be famous, wanted to be this big amazing person that everyone looks at and everyone thinks is I don't I'm I'm over that. I don't want to be special, okay? I just want to go back to my normal life. I just want to make sure they're okay. And then I'll just go about my life. I'll just stay here. You have some choices. You can stay, drink the water, or you can come back and we can try to figure this out. I guess I can come back with you and Adam and we can eat mushroom soup and fill it with love. Yeah. I'm gonna go into my head for a second. X looks crushed. The voice is not responding to you. You feel pretty alone, actually. I want twenty dollars in my pocket. No, twenty dollars, unfortunately. I think I lost it. I'm not just, special anymore. I'm just a normal guy. This place has a weird way of working. It brings out the best in us, and it brings out the worst. Some days you just gotta go with what it gives you. They might already know, and you just need to find them. It might take some time, but there are ways. How am I ever gonna find him if they're not here? I'll grab his hands. The thing with you is that you are different and it seems like they are too. People are gonna want to get to know you. They're gonna want to take you. We have to keep you safe. If they're not here, they're somewhere and that means that they might not be safe. I just wanna I just make wanna sure they're okay. Sure they're... News will travel fast.
an explosion erupts about 100 miles off the coast of the Gulf of Mexico. Lucien jolts awake in his rickety bed, fumbles for his glasses and trembling, dashes out into the corridor of a partially built oil rig. The lights above him flicker in omen-bearing shades of a deep blood red. He is alone. As he walks through the corridor, he steps out onto an open platform. The cold wind whips at his bare face, feet, and hands. He looks down at himself. He's wearing his funeral suit, but where are his shoes? He walks to the edge of the rig and peers down into the water. He thinks he sees something sparking. Dex? He's now falling, and as he hits the water, he is surrounded by the murky seas, the rig looming far, too far perhaps above him. He struggles to swim, not knowing which way is up. He begins choking, swallowing water as his lungs force him to breathe. Then he wakes in a cold, feverish sweat, alone in the dark, in a strange bed, in a strange boxcar-like metal container that has been welded into another to form a strange living space. You are alone in the room. The ones that Run gave you? Yes, yes. Mm hmm. Yes, you do. Hmm. Apparently, I'm muted. What? Muted? There we go. Never mind. Fixed. Sometimes there it takes go. a second, I guess. Go ahead. Hmm. I would sit for a moment and contemplate the fact that I have woken up here and not somewhere else, either back in the real world or uh, just somewhere else. Or I have fallen asleep and, and run another experiment. Uh, since Run mentioned to me that sleeping was one of the potential ways out of the whatever the hell we were in that we uh, me and Autumn escaped from and there's no one in here with me in the room no you're alone what else is in the room hmm which which bed would you have put him on run yours or your roommate's Oh, he's going on the couch. Oh, he's going on the couch. Okay. So why don't you go ahead and describe what he sees in your apartment? So you see uh, probably the spoon on the table. Uh, there is still uh, the shambling of uh, a mess, but it seems as if you've been dragged, the whole couch and everything has been dragged into bedroom. Um, the coffee table was brought here as well, or what there was of a coffee table. Uh, and uh, it, the downstairs on his side of the room. But you're up in that compartment. Um, how do I feel in myself not Very cramped with reference to the wound, but with the um, the sense of um, chest, lung, pressure situation we had before. I think it's probably safe for you to assume that that's partially why you woke up. It's pretty difficult to breathe. Ah. Um, I think I... I, I guess I probably wouldn't know how to do this, surprisingly. Everyone probably thinks I can do everything. Um, 
Hmm. I wonder if I can work out. No, I probably can't. Um, and is any of the... Uh, it probably wouldn't be here. He had a device that we smoked from, like a pipe, didn't he? He did, yeah. What did that look like? And is there anything here that looks similar to that? Um, do you want to go ahead and describe what that looked like, Myth? Uh, so it looks like uh, the bowl of the pipe actually looks like probably a small uh, round globe that uh, that pinches to a uh, a cylinder, much like a, a small, like uh, if you were to think of like a potion bottle, uh, mm -hmm. that sits uh, with another, uh, usually with a cork uh, to keep some sort of liquid in. Um, and then towards the top by that, uh, that hole, there's a, a rod that comes out on a 90 degree, which would be the mouthpiece. Okay, so a crank pipe. Um, and is that here? Is there anything like that in this room? Did you leave it for him? That would not be, that would not be in the room. No, you do not okay. have it. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to tentatively move a little to see just how difficult movement is for me physically with the wound. Uh, go ahead and roll. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Just do it. Just end it. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, it's incredibly difficult to breathe. So the way this no normally works mechanically can't, is after <laughs> after time has passed of the session. Uh -huh. Oh, you can't hear me, can you? <laughs> Shit, sorry. After time has passed in a session, you get to move your, your body injury up one. So you have moved from wounded to like the next step up, but now you're back mm -hmm. to wounded again. Yes. Down to wounded. <laughs> you're okay. back to wounded again. So, so um, okay. you're in a very precarious stage where if you, uh, you know, get one more, you're dead. That's it. There's only four levels. So, um, yeah, it's very hard to breathe. I think your vision is very blurry. Um, I think you're very dizzy. Um, it feels like when you first woke up. What do you mean when I first woke up? Um, when you first uh, washed up. Like when you first mm. got into the water. Uh. It feels like that. <sighs> mm. Um. Mm. This is a difficult position to be in. Hmm. I think I would, I think I probably would shout out, but, hmm, hmm, I don't know who for, they're both useless. Um, what can they do? I would shout out for run, I think. I would, I, in fact, I would just probably shout out, eh, excuse me, R run. There's no answer. Autumn? There's no answer. <sighs> okay. Now let's see. Uh, I don't want to get the bends or whatever. I'm going to have to. Okay, I'm going to hold my wound. With, and it's going to hurt. And I'm going to push my arm to it. Um, and I'm gonna attempt to stand up and I'm gonna try and I would like to first try and find actually first I want to see if it's open again is it bleeding a lot? Mm -mm. no no it's not open again okay well I'm still gonna hold it mm -hmm. because I don't 100% know what they did and how well they stitched me closed and I'm going to stand up if I can and I'm going to begin searching around for, I guess, this stuff, Kraj, that he, that he mentioned. I don't even know if I saw what it looked like because I only had some in this pipe, but I'm going to look around for this pipe or anything like that first because I know that he said that every few hours we need to, you know, ingest this in some way or something. Okay. Um, Run, do you have any? 
Uh, no. Mm, okay. Um, okay. Then, Lucian, you kind of, like, stumble around looking for this, any extra courage, but, uh, you can't really find anything that looks like maybe, also, it was super dark. I don't think you would know what, what it even looks like. It was very dark when he packed it into the pipe and gave it to you, so I don't think you even know what to look for. So it's clear yeah. upon a couple of seconds, maybe, that this isn't going to help. Okay. Where's the, uh, what about that? Uh, what did he do with it? Put it in his coat pocket, mm -hmm. that bottle of mysterious liquid he had. Yes, he did. He slipped it back into his coat. That's not, that doesn't happen to be here either, right? No, his coat either is the not coat here. Or the liquid. No. The vial. Mm -mm. Okay. Well, he's probably forgotten that I'm even here. <sighs> That's actually a good moment to switch scenes. And we are going to switch scenes to a different container, uh, like a shack like vault, I guess. Um, near the water, back where we came from when we first saw uh, Autumn and uh, Lucian. And in this container, we have someone we all recognize, laying on a bed, speaking to Run. They are having a conversation, and we come in in the middle of it. What? Oh, well, well. You have a couple of them run? One second. Looks like uh, his internet just died. Oh, of course. We'll pause here for a moment. Okay. okay. Am I back? Can you hear me? Yes. Also. Yes. All right. Sorry about yeah, that. Yeah, you're back. You're okay. You're okay. Um, Are we... For two seconds, something is going to happen with the cams. Everybody calm down. Okay. I'm Actually, you know button. what? I'm just going to move us over here very quickly. Say when. Now. Okay. Damn. Hopefully that worked. Okay. And we're just going to go right back like nothing happened. Okay. Yes. Wait. Oh, wait. Should I go for a mission? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh. Okay. Let's go. Oh, no. That's not good enough. Oh, no. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay. 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 Oh, no. <laughs> 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 it's fine. I will put something up while they are speaking. Um, all right. Oh, there, oh, we go. there we go. Perfect. Can I get a Can I get a lead in of what was? Yes, going I'm on? sorry. So sorry, we, we no, were, no. Oh, that's right. Your internet, internet died. Going. Okay. So yeah, again, yeah. that's all right. No worries. Um, we join in a different um, metal kind of housing. Um, this one looks much nicer. Uh, we join someone that we all recognize um, on a bed, and he's in a conversation with Run, and they are in the middle of it when we join them. You, you, you found them. You're saying you found them? Uh, well, I didn't. I, I, I found two people. If those are the ones you were talking about, yeah, you, I guess. You described um, she had red red hair. Y yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Striking and red. Yeah. Some other one that I don't know, but it goes by uh, Lucian. Lucian. Uh, all right. But they were there. They, they remember. Um, yeah, they were talking about a bunch of the stuff inside the uh, inside the lake. You know, they're I, not uh, supposed to remember. Right. Yeah, I, I know that. I want to see. I want to see them. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, easy. easy. Break it. Break it. Okay. 
I'll take a bit, right? We don't have a bit. We don't know how long this could last. Maybe it's a, a glitch. Maybe. Okay. okay. Yeah, Reckon tries to sit up and groans. Uh, you might even hear some pops from his ribs as he oh. attempts to sit up. E. Yeah. Okay, there's all right. a um, cane or something over there. Get all right. Uh, yeah. All right. Give me one sec. <laughs> this do? And he, bring, he comes back with a folded chair. No, a cane. Oh. Cane. Stick. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. By the door. I think he yes. comes back with an umbrella. He grabs the flask and takes a hit. Fine. Good enough until I grab it. And he pushes himself up. Where are they? Run. Uh, they're back in my place. Uh, I think uh, Lucian's resting. And uh, I, think, uh, I think Autumn's looking over him. All right. Wait, what happened to him? Uh... Oh, the oh lake, uh, of course. Well, yeah, the lake. And shock tails. Fuck. Uh, the herd is back again. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, they are. Um, pretty early this year, it seems. Or this, um, you know. Yeah, they're not supposed to be here for the third cycle. Uh, yeah. All right, well. Let's bring your spiffer, then. Yeah. All right. Um, where is it? Where did you keep it? I want a spitter. My spit. It's under my pillow, and I pull out a spitter. Can you describe what that looks like for everybody? Yeah, um, a spitter is kind of your quote standard gun uh, mm -hmm. in this world. Um, Reckons is kind of pretty beat up and rusty. It looks like he's probably taken in the lake with him a few times. Oh, okay. Uh, in fear of, well, mermaids and such. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't know if you have a picture or not. Is that what you're going for right now? Yeah, I'm looking, TV? but I don't know if there is one actually. Um, uh, so yeah, you can just describe what yours looks like. But it is just in case I think you know, but for the audience, it's using electrical pulses. Um, so it's an electric kind of stun gun, sort of, and the, the it fires it out. Um, yeah, like instead of bullets, it uses electricity. Very dangerous to use in a lake, but it's kind of a last ditch effort if you are hit with this, you know, your spine's being pierced, fucking shock the water uh, and hope you survive because you'll probably survive better than a mermaid. Um, so yeah, it's, you'd see like coils around it, kind of almost like Tesla coils for his, he might've built his own um, or at least tweaked it a bit uh, from frequent use. Mm. Um, but as he, yeah, he pulls it out from under the, the pillow Where's yours? I, I don't have one. Not with me. Do I? I got you one last cycle run. And I have it. Yet it's, um, at the place. I may have forgotten it. But it's there. Aha. Uh -huh. You forgot where it is again, didn't you? Yeah. Did you have a bad encounter with it? No, I was just very excited to see it. Yeah, you wouldn't to have a spitter, so I went. <laughs> help, 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 give me a shoulder for all a right, second. Okay, all right. There we go. Come on. Up. And ready. Three. Give it. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. All right. I'm just missing normal. All right. Yeah. We're going to your place. Um, I'm going to walk. That's, that's that's a far walk. You're gonna you're gonna be you okay. Fly now. I right, figured right, out okay. a way to bring that particular simulation here. Uh, no, no, I haven't. All right, no, uh, it's one of your favorites. Yeah, It does sound appetizing. Yes, mm. and I would love to someday. Bring a parachute next time. <clears throat> right. Well. All right. Here we go. Ready. Here we go. Yes. Yes. He makes his way towards the door. Okay, no. Wait. 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 Yeah. My yes. Where's your cross? Uh, I am, uh, I am out. Yeah, I thought I, I, thought I was I out. You... Well, I had to save two people from the lake. One I... has become three. Three? Yeah, me. Oh, uh, fuck, yeah. And then the two, so we're all 
second shelf, third right. drop down. Oh, okay. All right. Um, Half. All right. Half. I'll know. Okay. Actually, have. All right. And uh, he takes half of the stores, um, however many that may be. And uh, he's a decent the supply. Nice. Nice. All right. Mind if I have a little now? Hinch. All right, great. You're going to want some too, I think. We got a bigger walk here. <sighs> yeah. And, uh, he lights up, rags and passes. And then. A nice, kind of nice, a bit of a nicer pipe than your. That's still not great. It's stained, but it was right. nice at one time. Um, and yeah. Okay, I'm ready. Let's walk. We could run. I could run. You should walk. Let's walk. All right. Yeah, let's we'll go. walk. We'll walk. Run. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So where did you find them? This um, out here? You didn't wait. You didn't bring them here. You just. I didn't think, I didn't think I haven't seen you in a while. I thought you were still in. That's why I was out there. I was in the, I was in the boat waiting for you. It's been I a was... while. Went out looking. They washed up on the boat. I had to drag myself back in. Oh. I broke a rule. Right. Now that's, well, then you are very lucky. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, all right. Okay, that explains a lot then. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, come on. Yep. <clears throat> and labored walking with one arm around his shoulder with a cane in the other hand as he limps and wheezes, being led by Run to his apartment. And you get there and you open the door. Um, Run, go ahead and make a roll for me. You, you hear something. Oh. Okay. Um, is this a familiar something? You can hear it right now. It sounds like... Oh. From upstairs, perhaps? Yeah, fuck. And Reckon grabs his spitter. Are you expecting wheezing company? No, I was not expecting company at all. I'm really happy over spitter right now. <sighs> <laughs> Freaking glares at Run and, uh, well, <clears throat> and takes his arm out, one arm on Kane and the other with Spitter. Go. Go, oh, all right. I'm away. Run. You want me to run? No, open your damn door, Run. All right, great. Uh, and yeah, he opens. <sighs> what are you going on? Come on. Here we go. He tries to lift you up the stairs into it, into the compartment. And stumbles up behind him with the help. And you see right. uh, Lucian where you left him, sort of like he has left the couch and it looks like he's near a nearby table and he was kind of fumbling for it. And now he is lying on his side on the ground, um, struggling to <sighs> breathe. <sighs> this is why you keep a stall. Run. I'm through it. I've been active. Uh, All right. Here we go. You just yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. Yep. All right. Here we go. Lucian, Lucian, Lucian. Gonna need you to breathe deep here. He sparks it up. Here we go. All right. All right. All right. All right. Couple more breaths. Couple more breaths. There you go. I went and got crushed. Eh? Uh, no. Don't that's you better. think that we should all have access to that? Well, yeah, that's why I um, went to Normally you do. It. Oh. Oh, it's you. It's wrecking. Oh. 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 And. Uh, uh, yes. And what happens You'll... if you forget? Again. What? This... Uh, ow. This stuff. Right. I, I oh, need my own supply. How oh. do I get some? <laughs> it's 
got a quick head. Yes. Well, you I'd work. Not. You earn it. You yeah. buy it. You sell it. You do whatever you want with it. Very well. How much? And I'll leave the device to... to hail it. Right. Did you really not tell them anything, Ron? I did. It's, it's my first. It's my first. I don't know. I don't, they're both my first. I've never, I don't, I've never done this before. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're going to need to get a pipe um, for yourself and try to stay uh, on top of it. Where's the other one? We need to make sure that oh, yes, uh, sure. Autumn, Autumn uh, gets a dose. Where would you have put Autumn to rest and sleep? On your roommate's bed? Yes. Okay. Separate compartment. Okay. Other side of the compartment. Okay. So Run nods, uh, and then I guess heads down and into the other separate side of the compartment to wake uh, Autumn from sleeping. Hey, hey, Autumn. 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 Uh. It's got a lighter and, and a pipe. There you go. There uh. you go. Here you are, sleepyhead. Come here. All right, there you go. Uh, All right, good morning. Just do a little bit of this. Like, almost like he's waking up uh, a child for school uh, or a sick uh, child from school and just giving them the medicine. Just, all right, here you go. Come on. Yep, there you are. All right, thank you. Okay, that's enough. <coughs> all right. Sorry, it's just, it's the crash. It's, it's the lungs and stuff. Right, right. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure it's going to feel fine and... <clears throat> Ten minutes or so. Right, it's going to be a little burny for a bit. How, how's Lucian? I uh, just woke up and just had a puff. I should probably go check on him. Uh, he's, I think he's all doing right. all right. Um, uh, oh, excuse no, me. I'm, I'm sorry. Do you have any? Uh, do you have any coffee or a uh, um, a chicory or anything of that uh, um, sort? I don't chickpeas or coffee. Yeah, I got coffee. Yeah. Oh, okay, great. Um, can I? Could, do you mind if I help myself? Yeah, go nuts. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Yeah, all right. right. Autumn gets up, it looks like, and heads towards where she knows the kitchen is in the other compartment, and Run goes back up. Do you, okay, and Run immediately goes back up to Reckon and Lucian. All right, she's awake. She's grabbing coffee. Anybody want a cup? Always. All yes. right, great. Yes. Uh, three cups! All right, I think she... Three cups! Three more! So four, I guess. We'll, tell, we'll, we'll all take one. And where do you get the coffee? Um, from... From pla coffee plants. Yes. Do you grow them yourselves? No. They, right. They're... Traders. So you must trade for that as well? Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you not know what an economy is, Lucien? Do they not have that for wherever you're from? J Reckon seems genuinely earnest with his question. <laughs> you... Don't know where I'm from. But I'm, I mean, you came from the lake. Yes. But before that, you wouldn't know. Right. Hmm. So we have never met. I, I saw you once with uh, Law and. Hmm. Um, Are you selling memories now? Wait, oh, no, no. no. No, we're not. Right. No, I'm re, I like actually recalling things for oh, all right. inform informative purposes. Oh, right, right, right. right. During this conversation, the camera cuts to Autumn in the kitchen, like fumbling around trying to make some coffee. Everything is a little bit strange, but we can see her trying to figure it out. Um, can you roll for me, Autumn? Sure. So I'm trying to figure out the coffee? Yeah. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All you need is one four, so you're good. Oh, I'm trying to figure coffee. out the coffee situation oh, every day. Okay. All right, so you figure it out. Although I would like to say that for both Autumn and you, the viewer and me, we recognize this is not, this isn't coffee. This is something else that they're calling coffee. Um, but she figures out how to get it to work and how to kind of like brew whatever this is into a, a pot and then she can pour it into, into mugs. Uh, and then it cuts back to the conversation. So, yes, I saw you with Law, and... <sighs> Were you in the the shack with... Uh, the Dex and Autumn? 
Mm. No, I think it was just... Was it just yes. them? You were? Um, okay, then that was the second place. Sorry. You broke a rule. <sighs> yes, I did. What was that rule? Telling you where you were wasn't real. Hmm. And where were we? I'm gonna go check on Autumn. I'll be back. Perhaps that's a better conversation for everyone. Hmm, yes. I don't mind telling you, just I don't like repeating myself. And do you sell memories as well? No. Hmm. So you can recall things unlike Run? Yeah, oh yes. Abs he can recall things too. He just... Mm. chooses to sell them. Yes. And you don't, so how can you afford to uh, purchase your crouch and coffee? I have... Well, there's many jobs you can do here. Such as? Well, you can sell liquor, you can work, you labor, purchase? you can scavenge for parts. That's a lot of what I do. Um, Scavenging. Exploring ruins, selling information. Uh, I research. What research? What information? Oh, uh, going into the machine. The machine. Where was and kind of motions up and then realizes he's inside and well the machine that he pulls memories from no, no where we oh god I forget I've done this in a while uh, please can, I, can we wait until autumn gets here I just again don't want to repeat myself sure she will receive the information the same way but sure we cut to the kitchen where Run joins Autumn, who has managed to successfully pour four cups of whatever this coffee substance is. And uh, Autumn, do you smell it? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So when you go in, um, do you like, does Autumn like flavored coffee or just straight? Um, I think she really just likes straight, like black coffee. Yep. Okay. Um, this smells like, it has a little bit of, um, an earthier scent like maybe some dirt in there it kind of smells like soil mm. very pungent my goodness what what do you uh, put in your coffee uh cayenne could you pass it it's right behind you I, I, i'm sorry you, yeah. you put cayenne in this yeah yeah of course everybody likes a spicy coffee <laughs> Well, that's news to me, but all right, hey. Yeah, we well, gotta try you go. it. He, like layers the top of the coffee with cayenne. Um. Rounds. Well, well, let let me try. Let me try some. All right. Jens. Got a kick. There you go. Okay. Now, do I stir it in, or do I just let it sit oh, there? Just let it sit there. Okay. Chewing the nose and the throat. <laughs> got some on your nose. Okay, well, that is, um, right, that's, right. That's very pungent it's coffee. I, uh, I, I can't, I'm not, uh, yeah. Well, he wipes a tear off his cheek. It's pretty pungent. You know, um, I don't dislike it. It is very spicy, though. Oh, right. okay, that's, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. There you go. All right, well, uh, right. so we've got, uh, four, four cups. Now, why do we have a, a, a four, four cups here? Uh, my buddy Reckon's upstairs. Detective Reckon? Uh, no, Reckon. He's probably different Reckon. What do you mean diff different Reckon? I mean, I only know the detective. I don't know. I know several Reckons. I got a couple oh. of friends named Vendaya. There's okay. All right. Um, well, okay. I, I, well, I'm excited to He's see him, I suppose. Probably upstairs. Um, okay. All right. Let's go see, uh, not Detective Reckon. Autumn, when you are told this information, what is your first instinct? Um, that he's lost his mind. Okay. She was like, I have definitely seen a dead Reckon. That's I don't know who this guy is. Are you concerned for Lucien's safety? He, well, I mean, yeah. I think the first thing she thought of was probably, is he still alive? Um... I don't think she's concerned for his safety, though. I think she probably still thinks he's asleep. Okay. All right, and then they head upstairs with their coffee right. mugs and uh, an extra one each, I think. 
and enter the room and you see Reckon with a cane and a different set of glasses than you remember. He also looks a little bit dirtier, um, same weathered wrinkles, um, but he, he looks way rough for wear um, than he did the last time you saw him. Oh my. Coffee for you. That, that is, that is certainly, that's certainly Reckon. Thank uh, you, Ron. Welcome. Autumn. Hi, here's, here's, here's a coffee. Did you want yeah. a coffee? Yes. yes. It, um, this is um, uh, rather odd. Um, oh, oh, Lucian, honey, how are you feeling? Are you uh, okay? It, it, well, yes, I'm. I'm alive, and I have you and Run to thank for that. So I do. Okay. Right. Thank you very do, much for. Do you welcome. mind if I if I take a look and I see if it how how it's doing? Um. Yes, I believe if it is red around the edges, it is infected. But I believe it's also rather too early to tell. Okay. M- medicine is not my area. Medical that means it's healing. But I was my Jack. It was bad. He didn't say he was injured. Have a local a doctor. Shark tales. Perhaps. It's, uh. Okay. Well, um, it, it definitely looks like. Well, it definitely looks like it's a. That is a wound. <laughs> that is a wound. Uh, yes. It, well, I, I suppose if it is. Bleeding or weeping, you could let me know. I'm afraid I can't see it, and turning my head this way hurts. Okay, well, I don't think it is. Um, I mean, on that one. Is it bleeding or weeping right now? How is it looking? The what? No, it's not bleeding or weeping. Oh, okay, good. All right, well, um, no, it looks fine. Looks like it's uh, healing great. Very well, then I shall attempt to stay still. Perhaps run. I will take up your offer of that, um, mushroom sludge. Raj. What? Not the mushroom sludge. What are you talking about? Oh, the, the, the other stuff? Is the, yes, the meal. Oh, oh you stew. That oh, the meal. Oh, awful. yeah, okay, all right. That shit is awful. I ate yours, so I'm gonna have to make a new one. Um, all right, I'll, go, I'll make, I, I'll make four. Y- yes, yes, we don't need <sighs> him. We don't need him present. Um, all right. Um, uh, 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 Detective Reckon, how, how did you... back. Okay. All right. Why run? How did you get here? And why it's do you have a cane? Just Reckon. It's just, just Reckon. Okay. All right. Mm, well, I have a cane? Well, I'm... I broke a rule. I'm... Okay. Very injured. So you, you broke a rule. Um, does, does that mean you get one of your limbs broken? Uh, several ribs, uh, but that was more oh. from the pressure change. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hmm. The pressure oh. change. Um, you mentioned the machine. Yes, we're all in the machine. We're currently right. in the machine. I should probably start at the beginning, right? Oh, Has yeah. Run told you anything? I don't like repeating no. myself. No, he's very, he's very brusque. He doesn't seem to want to answer too much, but he's been very helpful. Yes, that's... That's run. Mm. Yes, that's very helpful and very, very forgetful. Mm. Uh, yes, yeah. you're well. Welcome to the machine, uh, the, the core, of the uh, the, the bureau, I believe some people call it. Ah, uh, bureau. Bureau. We all live here in this harsh terrible world and what you were in was a simulation yeah it was yes. not real okay uh, and Maybe you could figure that out from i don't know anything really uh you got out so my rule breaking seemed to help a little bit it wasn't in vain <laughs> well, 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 how do we get out of this one? Oh no this is where we live yes you don't but... leave here well, how do we get out of this machine? It, the machine runs a simulation, but this must it, be a simulation of sorts of its own. No, this is not. This is very real. Hmm. I don't. It's not it. like a layered sort of thing, though. You can do that in simulations sometimes, but not oh, this. That this must is the be end. very complex. It is. It, I wouldn't recommend it. Mm-mm. Uh, no, you you don't leave. This is this is real. This is the place. Uh, I, 
I don't know what to tell you. For how that. did we get get in here? Yeah. I don't recall. That. That is what I want to know. Mm, okay. Well, that doesn't that work well. I have how no long idea. have you been here? As long as I can remember. Do you remember? Oh, what if that's not very? What if that's? What if your memory's not very helpful? Because uh, Mr. Run has been selling memories, his own memories, and I don't even know if he knows his own name. It's Run. At least that's the name he gave himself. Right, but what if it's like Jacob or something like that? You know, and he was just like, "Well, I just, just I'll come up with the first word that I think of. It's, it's going to be my name." You know, like what if he is just it constantly selling his own name? For a while, I called him Steve, but that didn't stick. Okay. Yes, Autumn makes a good point. Um, we as really long as don't you know. could remember, might be a day or a week. Do you recall being a child? No, I wasn't a child. <gasps> mm. Oh my god. You were just born that... like this? I don't think that's what he means, Autumn. <laughs> hey, everyone, sorry. Uh, it's going to be a bit. I, I don't have any more broth. I was going to make a stew, so I got to do some reducing. So it's going to be a little bit. <sighs> He's not a very good cook. He's right. Uh, this looks good. All right, this will go here. All right, perfect. Great. And a little bit of that cayenne. I think he's doing his best. He's trying. He always tries. He got rid of his cooking memories once, and that yeah, kind of went downhill from oh, there. Yeah, that'll... Grease um, fire. It was a grease fire. It sold very well. Uh, d- d- how long? So, yes, don't. <clears throat> Me being here? Yes. I can remember 30 years. Well, you don't look a day over 30. <laughs> You're a flatterer, and I appreciate it, but... <clears throat> Is there anybody here who has been here for longer? Oh, most of them, their whole lives. You are what we call vagabonds. Vagabonds? So, like... Like, homeless? That's exactly right. And that's you when we're going to no switch scenes when he says, you have no home, and then we switch. <gasps> In the mall, we join Dex and Lore. <laughs> and I think last we... They were having a conversation about um, what they were going to do. And uh, Laura was warning him that he was special and might be hunted and sought after. So people are just going to come after me forever. I just have to constantly be on guard. Like right now in the mall, should I be worried? Uh, I think you need to be less worried in here, more out there. Maybe we shouldn't talk here. You never know who might be around. I mean, do you even want to babysit me anymore? I'm, I'm re- I have nothing. I, I thought I could offer you some cool things. I, I thought I had powers and apparently those are gone. So what's the point of you? Like, do you yeah. want to just go and I'll just do my own thing? And would you like for me to go? No, no, I don't, I don't want that at all. I just, what do I have to offer for you? I think you and I are not so different, Dex. We have something that we share now. So I understand how you feel. I wouldn't want to be alone. Should I quit? Should I quit my job? Should I at least tell my, my boss? I think your boss will be okay. But if that would make you feel better, we can do that. I've always sort of wanted to quit in a badass kind of way. And I think that you should do that. Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna go quit. I'm quitting okay. my job. I've been here for eight years and he never promoted me. Jared never promoted me once. 
Is like he did he offer you a raise at any point or 25 cents one time but like one i thought time? that was good i'm moving up yeah it was like a couple years ago and now you, you go tell jared what you really think where are you gonna do you want me to you come with be? you, you I could, watch i i i'd kind of like to watch but i i mean i can do it from a distance so it's not so weird yeah, or I could be like yeah, yeah. a guy is like standing behind you with my arms crossed, like all Ooh. like Ooh, a bodyguard. Yeah, just be, yeah, you're like my. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna work. Yeah, I, like I mean, that, though. but I have a scar. But, you know, people seem to be intimidated by that. So that's true. You should just stare at Jared the whole time. I mean, we might be in his office, but I, I'll make sure you can hear it. Okay. I've always wanted to do this. Then let's do it. If he gets mad at me, is that gonna affect something in my other life? It shouldn't. Can I fight him? You can. I mean, that's, you know, sometimes- No, no, some, no, stop. No, 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 yeah, I don't, I I don't mean, need to I... fight him. I don't need to fight him. I just, wow. Okay, uh, okay. I'm gonna march into his office and I'm quitting. All right. So I go down uh, past the food court and I'm gonna I, I walk down. Uh, there's this little like hallway that cuts in. It's right by the Hot Topic. It cuts like through, almost looks like you're going to the bathroom, but it's the offices to try and find Jared, see if he's there. He should be. This is, I mean, I don't know the exact time, but based on what I feel, it should, he should be working. You don't need to roll for that. He's working. <laughs> <sighs> All right. I'm outside the doors. I'm just... He, he just, it, Lord, he never, he never cared. He never saw the potential that I saw him. I could have, I could have managed this whole team. I could have made sure that everyone was safe. There are so many, that. so many times that he slipped, he slipped. So many times, so many times people got hurt where they didn't have to get hurt. I could have protected them. And, and that's what I want to tell him. Well, you can tell him that now, and maybe he'll change for the better. This could be right cathartic she, in a way. Right when she says that, <laughs> I'm gonna kick the door. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, but don't I worry. It's smile. not like it's not like it's not like locked or anything. It's like one of the, it's like a swing door. So it's just like I'm just I'm pumped. Okay, so you kick the door open. What does your boss look like, Dex? Jared is the cliche. What cliche five foot four dude who is a security, but like he's pretty, he's pretty like, he's pretty built, but like the nerdy PG built. Pixelate, man. Dude, literally like five four. Wow. Okay. Sorry. I'm, I don't want to fight PG. Uh, five four, just like, you know, just, a, and I mean this in the nicest way, just a total dweeb. And, and, and he's just, he's probably okay at home, but he's just, thinks of himself, he has a short man complex and he thinks of himself as all high and mighty and thinks he's the absolute shit and he's not, he's not. And uh, you know, he constantly is like, oh, make sure you clean that up when it's like, that's not my job, but I will do that to like get paid more, but I never got paid more, so. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, he's just a. Okay, so is he like, you know, what's he doing there at his desk when you kick down the door and surprise him? Literally on his iPhone, Yeah. on his iPhone okay. playing eight ball. Okay. Huh. Which is a... Uh, Dex. Huh, huh, what? What, what? Jared! What? What? What's wrong? Is there... Is there somebody shit on the, in the bathroom no, floor that... again or what? No, Jared. All right. I'm just... I want to let you know something. All right. G go on. You're not a good person. Um, Nothing about you has ever been good. Maybe, maybe back at your home with your family or your friends, you're a good person, but at work, you treat your employees like shit. I, I'm, I'm sorry? I said you treat your employees like shit and I'm one of them, but today is a different day and Dex is out. De Let me spell it out for you, Jared. Dex is Q-U-I-T-T-I-N-G, quitting. I'm gone, man. Uh, what about two weeks? I, I don't have anybody to replace you. Fuck your two-week notice, Jared. 
no. Now listen here. I... You signed a contract. You signed oh, a contract, and Ab you cannot walk out where, of here. Where's the contract, Jared? You, where's the contract? It's in my in that right here. You know what? Come over and get it. You've got no, the keys. Show me, show me, show me if you actually have a contract. Because if so, I, I will totally, uh, you know, I, I understand. I will not, I will not. You he, have it? He motions, he like, he doesn't even get up. He wheels his chair over to his filing cabinet like an asshole. Um, opens the filing cabinet and is going, it's right. Uh, yeah, here it is. It's right here. What is your real name? It's not Dex, is it? You don't have to say it out loud. I'm but not saying it out loud. You see it on the folder that he pulls out. Perfect. And he slams the file filing cabinet shut and then slaps it down on the desk. Right here. Look at it your damn self. You signed that. You I, I you owe me two weeks. You can't just quit on the spot. We need security. Or you will never work security again. I guarantee goddamn to you. You won't. Not not if I see. Not if I have a hand in it. Oh, Dex rips the contract. <laughs> Holy. You think that's the... And he's... St you're sticking that in your mouth? You think that's the only copy I have? Dex, what has gotten into you? What is wrong with you? Stop staring at me like a psychopath. I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna call s s security. <laughs> he picks up his phone and it looks like he's gonna call somebody who's working and shift right now i will give you time to do something if you would like well first i swallow the paper <laughs> okay that shit's gone half of it's gone okay um in that moment i think i've done i feel like the most badass thing ever so i'm just gonna do uh something from my favorite movie okay Dex's favorite movie. Okay. Jared, do not pick up that phone. What? He freezes. I grab, I grab a, a, a printer off the desk. No. And I'm just going to stand there with it. What, 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 what are you doing with the... Jared. What are you doing with the printer? I quit. And I just slam it down in front of him. And I go, whoa! And I walk out. Uh, okay, as you walk out, you hear him picking up the phone. Uh, yeah, Tim, Tim, I, I don't know what's wrong with Dex. He's just flown off the fucking handle, and we need you to come down here. He's down here at my office. He just broke a printer. He just quit without two weeks' notice. It's v very uncharacteristic of him. He's just like, he's going absolutely crazy. And as I'm walking out, I just grab a stapler off the desk, and I leave. Gone. And I go out to Laura and I say, we need to go now. I'm leaning against the wall, kind of in a very casual stance, and I just listen to all of this go down. Yeah, we should probably go. Um, you are special, though. <laughs> I feel fucking special. <laughs> and I start to run. I'll start chasing after him. <laughs> <laughs> so they run out of the mall. Dex, where are you going? Do you know? Or are you just running <laughs> to run? <laughs> I'm running. Okay. I'm doing like where like chase patterns where I used to chase kids who were riding their like scooters and like in the mall cool. and they'd run out. Like I'm doing like parkour where I don't need to do parkour. Like I'm so uh, I don't know, kind of liberated. This is like the first moment where I just realized that maybe this isn't just a show, but I don't. I really don't have powers anymore. But I feel like I have powers again, kind of. It's like that. It's like I got it back. Yeah. For a moment. Okay. So as he is running, we kind of see him, uh, we see him like smiling as he's running. Uh, he's got his, his golden beanie on. Um, he can breathe very well. He's like, he's having no problems right now. And it just feels, <laughs> he feels fucking great. Liberated. And then we're going to switch back. <laughs> How's the food going, Ron? Uh, just a couple more minutes, I think. It's uh, it's getting pretty hot down here. Uh, oh, uh, did Ooh. you? Not another grease fire. Uh, it's not as bad. <gasps> Put a lid over it. 
I might be able to help him out a bit. I, I do have some experience. I got it, I got it. It'll be fine. Everyone's gonna just do whatever you're doing. It'll be fine. You if, it fails, yeah. if he fails, he'll get a big cut, so. Okay. It's kind of um, in his best interest to be miserable sometimes. Um, <sighs> M- Mr. Reckon, um, I-, I do have a question. When you said you broke the rules, what is the rule? What are the rules of uh, of the simulation? That that is something that has been on my mind. I, I don't know how. Maybe, maybe well, let's let's roll back a little bit. Oh right, you said you were going to start at the beginning. And she sips her coffee. <laughs> just just a wee bit. You are vagabonds. <sighs> And essentially that means we, we don't know where we came from. But I am one too. I've just been around a little longer. Ron, I saved him just as he saved you. I'm his was savior. He was in the simulation? Yes, at one time. Oh. I didn't find him there, I found him on the beach. Oh. Oh my, he was just washed up on the beach? Yes, I'm rather surprised he didn't get snagged by a mermaid, honestly. Oh, yeah. But, uh... Sorry, (laughs) it's been a rough few days. What is the survival rate? Oh, uh... One? One percent? Hmm. Well, that doesn't bode Never well. Never hacks. Oh, did he not make it out? Well, we we're don't not know. sure. We don't if know. he wasn't on your beach and you were with him in there, then he's. And oh, and maybe he's still in it. No, he um. Well, he did the uh, the drowning exit. Ah. Well, best not to focus on that. (sighs) You go in and out. Yes. Right? I do. So there must be a safer route. Uh, Well, yes. And no. There's always risk going in and out. Uh, But once you know how, it becomes much easier. Um, But yes, you're in a machine. Uh, This is a large mechanical... AI, at his best I can figure it out. AI? Well, who built it? (sighs) More questions that I don't have answers to, but I'm looking into. It's what I want to know. I want to know about it. And Well, well, no one knows? I mean, uh, from, from, from... No one knows how, what what this is? Or why they're here? No one knows. We have ideas, we have guesses. My guess is it's a machine, an AI. Uh, a... Greater sentient being that is here. Huh. Uh, when you say a machine and an, an AI... Yes. This is a another simulation? No. No, this is the real world. I'm then assured of that. You're saying that we were in a simulation until now, and this yes. is the first time that we have been out of it ever. Yes. You so are you're suggesting that at some point we were put into the simulation? That is correct. And that you may be from are... here. You may be from somewhere else. I don't know. But you are also the first to ever remember anything. You recall? No. You recalled us. I recall coming out of the lake. I do not remember my past. Uh, No one does. Well, nobody you've met. No. No one. I have been at this lake. Remember why they're here? No. Sometimes they will recollect bits and pieces of their past. But when they exit the lake for the first time, nothing. You are a blank slate. 
Mm. Uh, uh, so, so uh, okay, uh, to, to, to go back to my original question here, what rule did you break and how are you how are you part of this then i mean why are we in the same why are we in the simulation but you're you're allowed to, to come and go as you please i'm a, a, a surfer i run took that phrase up but it works rather well i go back and forth for research who who designated you one of them i chose to be and who do you work for see so do you work for yourself are you your own boss uh, yes I choose to do what I do. I choose to research. I want to know about this machine. So, how then... <laughs> I just don't understand. I mean, how did you find all of this out? Did you just figure it out by yourself? You found that there was a safer way to go back into the simulation by yourself? There are a number of us that do this sort of thing. Run goes back and forth for memories. He tries to get exciting experiences or sad or tragic or horrific ones. And then he comes back out and sells them off. Um, I have been analyzing and looking at the simulation and seeing for defects, changes. Every simulation is not perfect, though it is a very close thing. Yours is the first that I've seen has changed. A bank robbery and a DMV. Hmm. You remembered something that wasn't supposed to be there. The system reboot, it corrected itself. Mm. But it, 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 you're not supposed to remember that. Anytime there's a reboot, a glitch, no one remembers anything, except for you. Mm. And it's fascinating. Then how do you know that there ever has been one of these? How can you be sure that what we experienced was a reboot? <laughs> If one out of every hundred one of you dies, there aren't very many of us in this world. Most of us know or know of everyone else in some capacity, maybe a little bit here and there, uh, but no. One thing before I forget, don't tell anyone you're a vagabond. I'm Why doing not? it because I know you are. Ooh. You will be hunted. Haunted? By whom and for what? And now we're going to switch scenes again. Where did you go, Dex? I have no idea. <laughs> huh? I just okay. ran. I'm just okay. having fun. I, right. I don't know. No, that's I, good I then. Just, yeah, I just... Uh, probably a couple blocks away to like more of like a... You know, maybe like behind a liquor store in like an alley kind of like not creepy but like okay just somewhere just near the mall near like outside of the mall just in case he's calling the cops or something i don't know yeah. okay yeah all right so you guys are kind of a couple <laughs> blocks away and you're in between a convenience store and the movie theater which happens okay. to be right next to the mall so you're you're in that kind of alleyway um there's maybe a light drizzle of rain when we join uh -oh. Uh oh, you feel that? Wait, we can still feel this? Yeah, you can. I mean, you can feel pain. You can feel pleasure. You can feel all sorts of things in here. Okay, so so how to? Oh, <laughs> catch my breath. How do we? How do we? How, how do we get out of here? Like, if we wanted to, not saying we have to, but how do we get out? Uh, well, um, if you want, you can um, just wish that you were gone. Wish that you want to go home just kind of have to think that you don't so want to be here anymore. So that's how you get out too? Mm-hmm. And it always works? Yeah, I always go, I try to like go somewhere that it's not so, and I'm, I'm not collapsing somewhere, I'm disappearing somewhere. I just kind of find a quiet spot and think that, and it works each time. So can I ask a question? Like my my parents and my, my friends or people that I've met in my life uh, pick, are any of them like me? There's always a chance, but I don't... No, I don't think so. Chances are they're not. Can you can you give, give someone that? Can you, like, take them with you or, like, bring someone who's not like you with you 
to the place? There was a uh, one person in a sim that I enjoyed a lot, and I tried, but it just didn't work. Can't. I couldn't bring him with me. You're different, though. So I'm different from you. Your boss, Jared? He should not have remembered you. You shouldn't remember me. So when when I go or when we leave here, it's like you're wiped from everybody's memory. He shouldn't have known who you were. You should have walked in there and that guy should have called the security, but not because you were quitting and breaking some machinery, um, but because he didn't know you. Wait, so every time you come back, you, you can mess with people or d talk to people, and then when you leave, they don't remember a single thing about you? Yeah, that's what makes it kind of fun. But I'm different because when I come back, people still remember who I was when I was here. And when washing up on the shore, you shouldn't have remembered any of this. This should have been a distant dream that you have never even fathomed could be real. Wait, when we go back, are you going to remember that badass thing I just did with my boss? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm here now on my own volition. I'll remember it. Oh, good. Okay, because I was going to say, if I had to, like, tell you about that, you were never going to believe me. So we would need some sort of code word, maybe something that happened in your past that I could remember and be like, I promise this happened just to... Just reiterate. to, like, yeah. No, I, I was fully here for that. And you see why this place is kind of fun sometimes? Yeah. Well, it's... It must get a, a little lonely, though, right? I mean, if you can't have any interaction with someone and then for them to remember it, that might get a little depressing, I'm guessing, right? Yeah, it's like you um, make a memory or you share something with someone and you only remember it. The first few times I came back, I was figuring it out and it kind of hurt when you realize that the same person you interacted with the day before didn't remember anything that happened. Right. You just kind of make peace with it. That's why I love that I have Adam. Makes it less lonely. And and how again do I make sure I end up with you and Adam on that beach? Because you said there's multiple beaches, right? Yeah, I... Oh, this is so crazy. It's like you're introducing me to a new book and I haven't even read it. And like, you want me to answer questions about different chapters. I'm so confused. But I'm okay. I'm just, it's a lot. I, I don't know how it works, but I feel like it chooses it for you. And that's where I always wind up, so. So when I think home, mm -hmm. I should think of that place. Yes. Okay. And can other people come to our home if they think of your home? If they want to attack us or something? Um, I've never tried it. I, I, I don't know if it's happened, but usually we have to travel if we want to go take time to get there and uh, be intentional about it. I've, some places aren't as safe as others, so you just kind of want to land where you land and maybe not risk it. Okay, and what about like, I know it's going to sound super cheesy. Sorry, I thought I heard someone. Uh, what, ab what about like pictures and stuff? Can I, can I bring anything back to our world, our a new world? Oh my God. Yeah. A lot of this kind of disappears with us when we leave. There are some things that are, well, I told you, I sell, I sell memories. Sometimes items are tied with those memories and we can take those back, but we can't, um, take back souvenirs. So we can take back items from memories? It's hard to explain. Um, she looks down the alleyway to make sure no one else is around. We really shouldn't even talking in here about this. If we break the rules, you know what happens. Um, oh yeah, what, what are the rules? Just don't let 
Like I'm looking around yeah, the she alley. She looks very nervous. She's glancing down. Can't let anybody hear you talk about these things? Oh, of course not. No, this is our mano y mano. Yeah, but what I mean is like you can't let them hear you or you will break the rules of the system and it will. You saw what happened to the detective. Oh. Oh. Oh, it kills you. In a way. So is Detective Reckon dead? Dead? I mean, it punishes you, so from what I've heard, I try really hard. This is the most I've ever talked about it, so I'm nervous because I don't want to find out what happens. Yeah, yeah, I, we can we can talk about it more. Just one more question. I'll do it real. Come here. So, like, if... Hold on, this was a good one. Oh my god, there's so many thoughts going in in my head right now. So if... How did you and Detective Reckon know that you were both in a simulation together? Get a feeling sometimes you can tell that someone's close. You just get it's like a vibe. vibe. What? No, 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 I just say it. It's yeah, like, yeah. yeah. You just know. No, wait, what? <laughs> I'm just saying, is it like the feeling of like when you know you have to poop, you have to poop. Oh yeah, I I mean. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I guess in in a way it is like a. You just know. Are you feeling that feeling right now? Am I feeling that feeling right now, Phoebe? <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> um. No, I don't. I don't feel that urge right now. Okay. <laughs> but sometimes you can plan with others and then you can meet in here. So it just sometimes you, plan you just that with Reckon, the cop. He he kind of just showed up and he's kind. Don't tell him I told you this. He's kind of a weasel. He's just not to be trusted. He's. He's got ulterior motives. Okay. He tends to sniff out things and then insert himself into situations he shouldn't. He found me that day and then just kind of latched on and used me to find you guys. Weasel reckon. I remember that. It's a great place to switch again. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) We switch back. You'll be hunted if they know you're vagabonds. Mm, uh, by whom? Right. Many, many different kinds of people. Oh. Think about it this way. A uh, rare animal that no one's ever seen before. Okay. Only shows up maybe once every hundred cycles. Yeah. Every yeah. 33 years, I don't know, something like that. Um, everyone who does anything remotely related to that will want to find it, to research it, to study it, to dissect it, to do all sorts of things of that nature. Okay, are these people like run in it by any chance? No, 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 God, no, no, he's not a hunter. Okay. Well, I was thinking, you know, since he, he uh, takes memories and, and sells them, is that what these people do? Is that what these hunters do? Do they take our memories and sell them? Some of them, yes. The okay. uh, Enki Covenant, you may hear that phrase about. They're essentially the group that um, Wants to study. Uh, All right, here we go. I got a couple of you. Could you hold this for a second? Here we go. Yeah. Uh, Not you, not you. Uh, Autumn, could you 
Oh, and sure, 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 sure. Thank sure. you, Ron. All right, there you go. Uh, right. What, what, where should I put this? Uh, well, in your bellies. Enjoy, everyone. It's oh. mushroom stew. This one's for you, uh, Lucian. There you are, buddy. Yes. Mm. Oh, All right. Yes. Thank, well, thank you. I yeah, hobble over to a chair and plop myself down. Yeah. Yeah. I only um, need a small portion. All right, you got all me right. the small bowl, yes? Uh, yeah, of course. Nope. <clears throat> no uh, well, in. Oh, well, th thank you, Ron. Um, so, so reckon Welcome. what you were saying about mm. um, about the hunters. What do, what what do they do with people that they that they catch? I was telling them about <laughs> basics of vagabonds, Ron. Oh, all right. Right. Uh, well, they, I mean, they, they just want, they want, they'll use you for anything, really. Uh, sometimes they'll conscript you, uh, though that is uncommon. A lot of the times they'll extract memories, if you have any. Uh, sometimes they want to implant memories to see how that works. It's experimentation. I see. Really. I see. It's, uh, how can you be sure that we are vagabonds? <laughs> Sorry, uh, you came from the lake. Yes, you came from the lake <gasps> as well. I did. And I'm a vagabond. Right. So I that's everyone right. here then. We're all we're all vagabonds. Yes. Yes, I thought I said that. I guess, yeah. Unless you Not breed you. Yes, out we here, are. really, and then you. Well, there's well, some were born here. I met a couple. Well, there are plenty born here on Nibiru, right. but yeah, so we're not all they're not them. vagabonds. They can't go into the lake. Right, not all of us. Oh, everyone here at the table or in the room. Yeah, everyone yeah, here at the table, yeah. Ron. Yes, yeah. oh, right, yes. Sorry, everyone. Literally yeah. everyone here. Got it. Sorry, I was... No, no, no. Else. Sorry, didn't mean to snap. So no one right. no one ever goes swimming? <laughs> well, you can swim, just not in that lake. I Are highly recommend lakes? against it. Well, I mean, there's water, there's no seas, there's all sorts of things. Right. And so the other people that remain inside the simulation are vagabonds? No, those they are not real people. They would be, I think, if they were to leave, right? Is that how that works? Oh, I, I mean, what are you talking about, the locals? Right. Most locals aren't real people. I'm sorry, right. locals. What do you mean, lo they're not real people? Oh, sorry, right. It, yeah, it, it's but a simulation. I... You're right? It, Right now, I'm just confused. No, go on. Some people are real people, like uh, you and I, and sure. some are simulated people. Okay, all right. So, uh, yeah. like that little boy that we heard in the mall, and we like, like listen, I right, listened close, and it sounded like a it sounded no like a mechanical hum instead of a heartbeat, or or, or a wave like the ocean. Ah. Interesting. Uh, tell me about that. Well, uh, Lucien and I were at what well, we were in a shopping mall, and I could hear I could hear the waves when I listened to Dex's chest. That this was right after uh, he had drowned, um, and then he passed out on the floor. And I could hear waves, and then I, I leaned into Lucien's chest, and I could also hear waves. And then we decided to test that theory on, on just anybody. And so I listened and I leaned down real close to this little boy in the mall. And all I heard was a, a hum. It sounded like a machine. Yeah, almost. It didn't sound like waves. That was how we managed to escape. By determining who was real, who was telling the truth, including yourself, detective. And not detective, just reckon. That was just a part of the simulation. A role I pick. Oh, yeah, that explains it. So you are the same. So you do know each other. I yet they're the one I. Oh, and I didn't get because you didn't check in on me. That's fine. That's fine. Yes, I had interviewed her and uh, the other friend. Yes, the right, the other friend. Mind. That's what they're looking for. There are others right. in there. Right. Right. What is to stop us from removing them? Removing. Wait. Uh, I'm sorry. Say that again going in, finding other people that are not simulated and bringing them out. Oh, well, then you'd be breaking the rules, right? Oh, well, why would we break the rules if if, uh, if Mr. Reckon here can do that? <laughs> Stop us from breaking the this rules. Is, this is why, and this, he's lucky. 
I am not well. I broke the rules and I almost died. You were forcefully ejected, yes. That's exactly Eject right. Yeah. That's very well put. I um, probably have a few broken la uh, ribs. <clears throat> My lungs aren't. They could be broken. My legs could be broken. I did a lot of the carrying. Well, not That's this all... time. <clears throat> I'm leaning pretty hard on the, the way rule. here. Yeah, no, right, fine. The rule. The biggest rule. You can't. If you're in there, you. And talk about it. Can't talk about it. Yeah. Treat it as though it's real life. That suggests that there are plenty of vagabonds in there. But maybe um, not awake. Um, where did you find these glasses? Uh, in the apartment. Before that. Oh, fuck. Right. Lake. In the lake. Washed up. Washed up on the shore, yeah. Did, did you see any more glasses wash up? No. And I, I was wondering why. It's probably because I got ejected. <sighs> I probably Is there any it. way to analyze um, the simulation from here, from outside? Perhaps locate somebody? Uh, theories, sure, but not really. I can analyze what you've seen. In what way? Well, I can look into your memories. Hmm, no, I don't think we can do... So we wouldn't right, be able we to would find somebody, let's say Dex, for example. We wouldn't be able to locate him from here without going into the machine. No, God, no. No, you'll have to go back into the lake to find him. And how would we locate him once we were inside? There are a few ways. Uh, the main way is to... Hope and pray to the machine that it sends you there. Pray to perhaps the it will. Its will will send you in. Oh my gosh! Perhaps its will is in this guy. Do you do a lot of praying, Reckon? Daily. What do you pray to? The machine. Oh, do you just pray to the machine and and? F it's for very what? religious. It's not religion. It's it's uh, fact. Well. Okay, that's what that's what they it's say. That's what, reli that's what religious people say. Experimented, duplicated fact. Okay, man, right, well. Uh, the ends justify the means. It doesn't matter whether he thinks it's praying or she thinks it's a wish. It's praying and it's asking. There's a sentient, all-powerful being. Uh, just asking it if it hears you is essentially praying. It's you're being pedantic at this point. Well, yes, I've never, I've never prayed a day in my life. Theory. Theory and a theory Look at me, I'm again. Doing fine. Um, if I were to uh, hmm, go in there and find somebody, mm. um, if somebody leaves, does it leave a a simulated version? For example, is there a simulated version of myself now walking around, continuing my daily life for the other vagabonds? I. I would say no, but frankly, when I leave, I don't. I'm not still there to double check that I'm. That's right. Still it's like there. trying to figure out if you're snoring when you're asleep. I mean, there's no way. You have to have somebody else do it. Tell you. Exactly. Well, perhaps I could have one of you go in there and look for me. If you can find me, it's unlikely. And why would that matter? Because I'm trying to find somebody. Who are you trying to find? And we're gonna switch scenes again. Oh my god. <clears throat> <laughs> Back with you two in the rainy alleyway. Did you go somewhere else? Or are uh, you still I think we're maybe like walking and talking, like okay. away from the mall. Just I started getting a little shaded out that maybe he actually called the cops and that would just okay. I don't think it's good if I go to jail right now. Probably not. I just take Dex's lead because I'm like this is his this is his time to explore this place, so. Is there is there anything you need to do? I mean, should, no, I, do, should I eat? Do I eat here? Well, we can eat at home, but I mean, if you want something special, like a beignet or something, you can get, you can get that if you want. 
specialty items? I don't, I don't, I mean, can I bring the bidet back? No. You gotta eat it here. Why would you eat a bidet? No, a, a beignet, like a, it's like a, you've never had a beignet? I've never had a beignet. What the heck, a beignet or bidet? It's not bidet? No, I beignet, know what a bidet like, is. My friend yeah, had no, a bidet, that was no, magic. It's like a, <laughs> it's like a specialty pastry here. Isn't it like a deep fried roll or something with some powdered sugar on it? Oh, beignet? oh, the, 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 oh, the Louisiana treat? Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, it's okay. Oh, you can get one of those. Is that what they're called, beignets? I believe so, unless I'm ah, misremembering I've and I'm like looking around, first. like I'm gonna get an answer somewhere. <laughs> no, okay. I mean, <laughs> they're like churros, I think. Yeah, no, I've had them. They're they're pretty good. Pretty good. That's. I mean, is that a cop? Did you just hear a cop? Yeah, I mean, they're not. Don't be paranoid. It's, what if they're coming for me though? What would I, I do? I don't think I don't that have it, my powers anymore. You can just think about home and it should be fine. And the, oh yeah. But no, you said people remember me. So they're just gonna be like, oh my gosh, this guy was here and then he's teleported out of the sky. I lower my voice. The thing about this place is it's not all that it seems, it's it's not real. It is odd that they remember you. I just, and I guess I don't really know what that means. Just maybe you gotta be careful each time you come back if you do something really bad. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna kill anyone or anything crazy like that. It's not in my blood, but I'll, <gasps> I, wanna, I wanna get another job just to quit again because that felt great. Is there anything else you've wanted to do here that you've never had a chance to? Oh, don't, don't do that to me. Really? And I just, I kind of like, I use my arms kind of like it. Well, we can. But uh, what about you? What about you? You said you had some errands to run. We could, let's do one of your errands. We just did my errand. Let's do, what, well, what do you I, need to do? I don't really have anything. I took care of my business earlier. I mean, so I can. I mean, you have nothing you need to, no pressing matters. Like what, 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 what would you do? What, what's, what's the next thing you want to do out here? Cause you said you sell memories, right? I don't really like coming here. If I'm being honest with you. To the Louisiana, Louisiana. And other places. What's, what's wrong with it? I mean, it's hot. Yeah, it's... I only come here when I have to. So you'd rather be home? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I guess it grows on you. Yeah, I... I guess this is more like coming to my job. Is that how I'm going to feel? Eh, I think it's really what you make it. You can be a tourist. Check out the sites. Or use it for other means, like I do. Wait a minute, am I going to have to get a job? With you? Are you going to be my boss? I, no, you can be your own boss. You want to work with me, that's another thing, but... Wait, what do you do? Like, what... What would be our job? Surviving. It's probably one of the most badass things I could put on my LinkedIn. Mm-hmm. Maybe Jared will reach out in a few years and want you back. I'll hang up. Now you can. <laughs> I can. <laughs> okay, surviving. What, 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 what other occupations could I pick? There's a city nearby. Um, lots of jobs in there. A little more, I don't know. If you like the city life, that's for you. I kind of like the quiet. Wait, a city back at home? Mm-hmm. 
I go there occasionally to get some stuff. How far is the city? Oh. Probably like a day's walk. Two days walk. And on a fast you're moving that day. Walk. Do you have any vehicles? I don't. Just you know someone who does? Uh, do I PV? Uh, ooh. I think you and Adam purposefully isolate yourselves, correct? Mm hmm So, yeah. yeah, I would say no, you do not. Okay. Although, if you had to make a guess, that that prick Reckon probably has access to one. Yeah. I know some people who have them, but uh, Adam and I like to lay a little low. Okay, yeah, Good I mean... Good exercise. Is there yoga? You can do yoga. It's great on the beach. Okay. I just, I, just, I don't know what carries over from here to there. And, and well, you we come in talk here. Yeah. Yeah. And you just experience things and you can bring those things back with you. You create new, new memories for yourself. In here. So when you come here and you want to get a good memory, you just think about being that role and then that is what you take on? How do you set it up? Or how, how does it go down? I look up. This sets it up. The sky? I like, I really lower my voice and lean into him. Some people think it's a machine. Some people don't. But it makes the rules and we don't. So... God? And that's where we switch scenes again. In Nibiru. How was the, um, how was the salad, the stew? How is it? Oh, stew. Um, um right. it's very filling. Okay, that's good filling. Thank you. That's more positive right. than. Did you put cayenne in this? I did. Mm. I did. I can, I, I can take Catching on to my secrets. <laughs> he only uses cayenne. In it, everything. Oh, that's Don't. me, but with paprika. I, know, I like things that make me sweat. Don't have any of his pies. I assume you put cayenne in, in your pies? Oh, definitely. I'm well, cayenne. That, at least you're consistent. Right. Yeah. yeah. Fruit with cayenne in a sweet pie with a lot of sugar. Like it's like a sweet and crazy savory. It's like sweet and sweaty. Yet yeah, sweet and sweaty is the worst. Yeah. Don't listen to him. Okay. Um, um, well. Mr. Reckon. You can just call me Reckon. I'm... Very well. I guess I am that much older than you. Fine. Yes, whatever. Um, what would be the um, price for one to hire you to do research? I'm um, um, a research of what, exactly? Well, well, whatever I require you to investigate. Right. Is that the, not what you do? The person you're looking for? Yes. Some of your memories would be the mm. price. Hmm. Very well. Um, run. Um, my God, did you just really give everything? I, well, we haven't let me, quite come to an agreement, but no, but I understand your price. Run. Yeah, yeah. What? What? Um, who do you sell these memories to? Air traders. Where do you Usually find them? Over by uh, 
The Taku? By where? The city. Oh. Is that near Taurus? No. No, no yes. That's the direction. No, no, no. no. You, you would way. take part of the Taurus to get to... You say a taco? You don't have to take Taurus at all to get there. Oh, Taurus is near your... That's okay. I'm only coming in because I know it's a, it's a little bit unfamiliar. Um, I can put the map up for you guys if you want. Um, taco. But yeah, the Taurus will take you elsewhere up. Yeah, no, you don't really have to take the Taurus. So I haven't really... <sighs> How many cycles has it been since he's traveled up? Where? To the taco? taco? No. Further than your level. We'll say it that way. Yeah. Oh, jeez, I don't... Yeah, have you ever? So, yeah. I don't think I ever have. He probably oh, yeah, has. That's right, you've never gone to the Nexus with me. Probably has, but as far as I recall, he doesn't You've never been to the Nexus? Mm, no, it's another city. Why would you not have gone also around? Not always. He likes to stay here, here a bit more than I do. Is that right? I don't need anything in the taku, the, the coo, the taku. <laughs> but He's struggling to remember the name of the city he goes to. Hmm. Yes, um, and you're not too injured to go back in there. Me? Hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm very injured. And it would be yeah, a risk. He's not going back for a while. Uh, well, well, I also hadn't planned on it. Well. What? What? Don't tell me what. You look at you. We'll heal faster in the water. Heal faster in the water? Does the water yes. have healing properties? Well, you don't experience the exceptionally high G-force. If, if you pray. <gasps> ha ha. You, said you weren't a praying man. You do, yes, and fuck it off. Does. All right. Anybody want dessert? <gasps> oh, yes, please. All right. I just warned you about the pies. Ah. Well, I mean, it would be rude to refuse dessert in his own. He won't remember. That's not true. Well, that's yeah. like saying, you know, pee on babies. They won't remember. You, you, it's still rude to do in the moment. It was a joke. He could hear me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is I agree. Very nice. I agree, Autumn. Um, if we don't remain here, when we go into the simulation, the, does that not suggest that we are in the simulation as well here? How would that be possible? It suggests that either this is a simulation or that in there isn't a simulation and we're just being uh, transported. That is a great mystery, isn't it? I personally believe the machine moves us to a different part of the machine. And what do other people believe? I think this is some sort of divine punishment for a past sin. Or... Mm. Oh... Well, that's one of the bigger ones. Maybe you were in a prison of some kind. I don't think that at all. Yes. Because, uh -huh. well, we learn, we experience, we grow. What kind of punishment is something where you get to be better? Mm, better. Better version of yourselves. You think that's what you are out here? That's what I think I am when I grow in there and learn more. Uh, I mean, technically, what? this is the only version of ourselves, right? I mean, but how, how do you go back in? You say you go into the water, but there's obviously it more. There's another way in. So what do you do, Reckon? I go back in. Okay, well, you don't just dive in from a boat, do you? You don't just canoe or kayak your way out there and then let yourself in. What do you do? You drown. Oh. Hmm. Well, that does well. That's <laughs> makes sense. Okay, you um, drown and you're in. And when you want to leave, you simply say, "I'd like to go home. I'd like to not be here anymore." Uh, I, it's re I, I assume that's something that uh, you two did roughly to get out. Um. Yes. No. What? No. Mm -mm. And, and but, like he reckon perks up a bit and kind of leans in a little closer than you'd like, Autumn, and how did you get out? I, I don't know. Um, 
What, what did you do? Just tell me every detail. I was with Lucian, but right. then he, he, he died, and uh, and then he, he disappeared, um, and then I don't know. I was just I was in the desert, and then all of a sudden I was uh, underwater. Oh, we, I was the in the desert. Water. Shit! Right. Right. Everything. The desert. Yes. Everything. Yes. D- details. I, I, I was in the desert underneath the giant shape. What did it look like? Give me everything, please. Okay. What uh, are the shape, 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 shape? Uh, I know this is an inopportune time, but I'm afraid I really do need to use the bathroom. The lavatory, do you have one? It's downstairs. Find, find Run. He's downstairs. Uh, Autumn, would you mind giving me a hand to no, stand? Please, of course, yes. Yeah. Here, up you. you go. Up you go. Uh, if do you need a, him to? Do you need her to shake? <laughs> Fine, fuck. I don't actually, know. I wouldn't mind you. Would you help me to the door? Of course, yes. The door. No, the restroom is in here. Do not leave. No. Hmm. And like, Reckon attempts to stand up with the cane. And he's struggling, str- but so is Lucian. Lucian cannot really walk by himself right now. His legs tremble. I, I am your savior. Run is your savior. Don't be such a baby. He needs to use the restroom. And that's all he needs to do. Come on. Come on, Lucian. Yes. No, you uh, don't understand. Plan, this could be plan. very bad. What? Uh, is uh, relieving myself a danger? No, but being out, being seen, being heard, talking to others that may not be vagabonds. I'm he sorry. He's use the restroom. He's not Who else there. is not a... The lavatory is in here. Hey, down the street. We have plumbing. You don't need to leave. Well, right. Just go downstairs. Yes, I'm... That's you went to for the that. door. You said, let's go to the door. Yes, the lavatory door. Then look, are they standing... Are you standing near the lavatory door? I think so. I think okay, we're then, standing up and looking at you confusedly. And then I would, like... And then kind of plop back. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yes, the last time I, uh... I'm a lot of sorts. I'm yes. sorry. I'm sorry. Please, continue. Okay. It's, it's are, are you good? It's it's right here. Mm, yes. Uh-oh. While I'm there, do I have the knife on me still? No. And I just want to say it's important that you, the viewer, and me see a pained sense of urgency and... Hmm. Passion on Reckon's face. Okay, yes. No, you do not have the knife on you. Is it in this room? I don't think you can see very well to see. It's very dark Mm. in here, actually. Your eyes haven't adjusted to how dark everything is here. You can roll if you want. Yeah. Do you have anything to help you? Mm, kind of, but I guess not. Um, well, you have a plus one. It's Autumn is holding you. Yeah. Uh, okay. No, I don't think so, but I will take the plus one. Okay. <gasps> Bam. <gasps> uh, yes. I think narratively it would be super badass if because you and Autumn were in sync last time you were embracing or like touching each other. I think it would be really cool if what we see is Lucian is thinking of the knife and then Autumn goes and looks off to the side and where it would have been out of Lucian's vision, she sees it and moves quietly, grabs it, and then is able to like show him behind her back that she has it. So you both, she has it and Lucian knows that she has it, but he can't, really carry it or use it himself because he's too weak but she has it i wanted to pass it to (laughs) him perfect then this is what happened i give her a little nod you don't even need to you know yeah all right yeah Yeah, we're in tune and i uh i go into the uh the lavatory bathroom thing that they have what is it is it like a tiny little room with a hole or is it like an actual no there's toilet? plumbing there's plumbing it's like an actual like toilet but everything just looks a little bit strange and it's um you can kind of see the everything's run 
by a certain type of electricity. Um, so you can actually kind of like see the wiring and stuff and everything's sort of exposed, which is mm. probably a little bit alarming to you at first. But yeah, you can figure out how it works. I am not taking it. I'm not using it. Yeah, I didn't think <laughs> Close so. Close the door. All right, and... go. I'm not going to help you hold it. I lean against a wall for a moment and, and think. Sorry. So, can you do you want to talk about the desert? Because I would very, very much like to hear about it. Sure. Yeah. The um, thing you saw. So, uh, you know, it was just a a giant shape in the sky. It was it was brown what shape? and white. Um, brown and white. Diamond. Sort diamond. of, but not really a diamond. It had a lot of sides. Um, how many sides? I didn't get a chance to count. Um, not sure if I directly recall. All right, but a, a diamond. Was it three-dimensional, two-dimensional? Oh, um, no, it was a three-dimensional. I could see, but it was huge. I mean, it was unlike something I'd ever seen. Uh, if it's a diamond, eight, eight or... Ten sides? How many like sides did it, did, it, did it have? Uh, is, uh, I I, will, I just want every sure. detail I possibly can. Um, well, it, it had eight sides. Eight. Think, okay, yeah, all right, an octahedron. Famous. All right, o octahedron. You said brown and white. Um, did it do anything? Did it? It was in the sky. It was in the sky. Um. And, uh, well, it was in the sky, and, and, and then it made this humming noise, like, kind of... Humming. Yeah, like a humming, and then there was a... Oh, uh, uh, would, you, would you, um... Uh, High-pitched noise? I, uh, um, would you mind helping me a moment? Like, it's oh. rather embarrassing, I... God. Yeah, um, it, uh, I'll, I'll be, I'll be right there. I'm so sorry, Reckon. Please excuse me for a second. I'll, I'll be right there, um... All right. Help yourself as much as you can. Uh, don't, don't, don't fall in. <clears throat> uh, that, was a, that was a joke. You know, you just made a joke. Are you all right, dude? You uh, do? I, I made jokes earlier to... It's fine. It's all right. Uh, fine. Yeah, you don't mind my arm. Um, silly, I can't. Oh, okay, Perhaps autumn, I'm, if you I'm could... opening the door now. Yes, it's fine. Okay. She opens the door. I'm sitting on the toilet. Up. And I hold an arm up. I can't seem to sound silly, but I, every muscle twitches and hurts. No, no, what, what do you I need? I could rely on you to just lean as I stand. Oh, oh, yes, of your, course. Your arm. Uh, all right. My dear, if you don't... Yes, that's that's fine. Here. I grab her and pull her in really close and say, he's selling Ron's memories. And I stand up. Yes, sir! Oh, um, all right, all taken care of. Yes, thank you. Um, oh, sorry. If I'll squeeze through here and uh, stop telling him things, he's going to sell yours. Yes, okay. Okay, all right. Uh, 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 sorry, yes, sorry, it's just a rush. I'd really like to sit down. Of course. Rather I want to sit tiring. with your injuries. Yes, leave. I need to rest, perhaps. Just, all we'll right. definitely take a seat. <sighs> what was dessert? You oh. brought, did you bring dessert, Ron? That's what it was. Oh, sorry, I'll be back. He needs his privacy. He needs his, needs his privacy. Yes. Well, maybe actually I'm feeling rather woozy and tired. I might have a... Would you I, mind? What what medical attention did Ron give you? Um, uh, just one second, Mr. Reagan. Sorry, yes. sorry what, what, what did you need, Lucian? I was hoping that perhaps I could have a little rest or sleep of sorts. I'm quite tired. Oh, right, of course. Yes, you must be, you must be exhausted. I yell out like across the like. Did what medical attention did Lucian receive? Oh, um, enough. <laughs> Don't worry, I actually have a PhD, and it, everything seems to be in order. I don't know what that means, but sure. Uh, Ron, I doubt he was able to treat you well. I've well, seen. Well, if you what... don't have a PhD, I don't suppose you're able to either. You don't. Well, I don't. Again, I don't know what that is. But you Are don't you need a doctor? that for medical attention. Am I a doctor? Uh, I have experience here and there. Right. Well, 
I, I know I that I need some rest. All right, now that's probably true. Um, I, I have some ideas on how to find your friend, though. Mm. Yes, perhaps well, we can you, discuss uh, that. You can talk to me about it because he's probably just, you know, he's in pain and uh, he had a very long, long night, so I'm sure he needs his rest. Off you go, Lucian. Yes. Um, perhaps, uh, there's a cop right and I point to like the couch that I think Autumn was on. Uh, Lucien was actually on the couch. Lucien was on that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I I point. uh, There is that couch. Yes. Are you going to remain in here? Perhaps I will find a more private room. I think he has a bed downstairs. Very well. Ron, do you have a bed downstairs? Uh, yeah, I could uh, do some judging around and yeah, we got one here. Yeah, here was one. I got one. He's got a bed. I don't think he thinks that's a bed. Well, go see what he has, I guess. Can you make it down the stairs without help, or do you need Autumn to? I can't help you right now. I, yes. I can help you down the stairs. Uh, very, very well, yes. He's sitting here. Okay, Reckon. Well, I'll be right back. Right. Um, can you tell Ron to bring a nip for me? I uh, oh, I'm drink. sorry? A drink. A drink, yes, of My course. My flask is empty. Yes. Uh, when I get back, I would love to continue talking about the desert. And then we switch Good. scenes. Can we be in Buffalo Wild Wings? Yes. Yes. Did you walk <sighs> there? Tell me how you got there. Yeah, though. yeah. It's not far from the mall at all. Got it. It's, yeah, it's not, you are in. Yeah, it's like the local. That's the spot I'd, I'd go um, with friends. And they have the best Louisiana classics. Mm-hmm. Wings. Okay. Have you been here? I can't say that I have. Oh my, you're in for a treat. This okay. is the, anytime any friends from California come out to Louisiana, I take them here. This is the spot. Okay. So we're going to look around. We're going to get wings. Do you like wings? I don't know that I've ever really had I, I don't know that I've intentionally ever had any. Have you ever had wild wings? No, but that sounds like an adventure. And add buffalo to the sentence. It's a wild, wild. There's so many flavors. I mean, you can go garlic. You can go, you want your classic original. You can go barbecue. You can literally any kind of wing you could ever imagine. And you got dipping sauce, you got ranch, blue cheese. Uh, sometimes if you're getting a little kinky, you you can do uh, they, anything. Garlic sauce, they, they have it all. I like that you are passionate about this. And I don't mean that in a judgy way at all. I actually mean that. It makes me happy that you are so excited about this. It's wings. How do you not <laughs> How do you not get excited about wings? Wings are delicious. I guess I, mean, I just Think about it. Listen, listen to me real quick. Okay? How mm-hmm. annoying when you eat like a normal wing. How annoying. Oh, there's bones that get in. You eat You've had wings, right? The, the bones, you oh, go around the bone. That's so annoying. I just want to pop it in. Boneless buffalo wings are hands down the greatest. And don't tell me this is some knockoff chicken nugget. Don't even tell me it's a chicken nugget because it's not. This is a buffalo wing, baby. This is what it's all about. Okay. I I trust you. I mean. Instant I, access. Yeah. I I can't say that I've ever had one. So I'm, I'm excited that you brought me here and we are going to have wings. Shit. Shit. I don't have money. I can't wish for it anymore. I lost my power. I mean. Wait, do we just. <gasps> I mean. <laughs> for it. And then. I mean, yeah, I, that's one thing that we can do. <gasps> I mean, I, I, I've done it before. I won't lie to you. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna order wings. Well, it's a little weird because I have to pay before I order the food though. You have to? Yeah, I mean, I guess I can make something up. Oh, that's what I'll do. I'll tell them the wallet's in the car. I'll have you run and go get the wallet. They'll start working on it, but like, I don't know where she went. Let me go yeah. check on her. I'll come in 
and the order should be ready. But this is bad, though. This is illegal. It's all relative now. It's relatively illegal. I just I look at him just like just staring at him. I'm like smiling because it's in a way it's just like, oh, this is adorable. This and I grab his hands. It's really nothing to worry about. But I'm, you know, glad that you are. And it makes you a good person. Okay. All right. I'll do the ordering. Okay. Yeah, I get me whatever you think I I would like because I've never had them. Plethora of wings. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh, I'm sorry. I was so into your RP that I was just like (laughs) gone. Uh, Yeah. How can I help you? Hey, how are you? Um, uh, It's good to see you. Um, I think we are going to get. uh, Do you have like? Ah, there it is. I will take the everything package. Uh, the the every uh, the everything package. Okay, will that be one bucket or two? Uh, oh, I'm not. There's a discount on the two. Uh, it's four dollars this... off today. No way. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's way. Much. That's a huge deal. I know. You should just no get way. the two. Yeah, and it comes with soda. Any soda we want? Yep. From the from the fountain over there. Oh wow. Okay. Yes, indeed. Uh, Hey, um, darling, darling, we're going to get two buckets. Is that okay? Yeah, that sounds great. Sweetie. Okay. Look See, at her eyes light up. Quite, I know. quite the charm. You, you did the right thing. I know. The two buckets is really going to get me lucky tonight. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope so. I hope yeah. so. Uh, All right. Uh, that'll be 1565. 15. Wow. What a deal. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Is everything all right? Yeah, I have my keys. Honey, do you have uh, your purse on you? Uh, no, I left it in the car. Oh, oh that's all right. God. That's all right. We'll, we'll go ahead and get started, and I'll just leave this up here. There's literally no one behind you in line or anything, so. I'm so sorry. I'll no, just, that's okay. I'll, I'll... Don't even worry about it, sweetie. You just come up when, when she grabs the wallet. You know what? And, and enjoy the meal first. Thank you so much. That you're, is very You're nice. most welcome. God bless. God God bless. I think it worked. I think it did too. I, she said I could eat for, she's so nice. Everyone's so nice out here. That's the thing. It's very different mm-hmm. out where I'm from. People are not this. So now I feel bad. I feel really bad. It helps if you remember that it's all kind of going to be gone at some point. Yeah, but like, and I grab her and I, I sit her down because you could sort of go wherever. And I find like the most empty area seems pretty dead in here. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Correct. There's like All a right. couple of tables, but cool. yeah, it's pretty dead in here. But like she, she, she still probably has like a family, you know, within this. Yeah. I guess the best way to imagine it is like. If you close a door, and that as soon as it closes, whatever was behind it is no longer there. It's so weird because I, I, I still feel like I, I should go see Martha Dell and, you know, like call my family, but talk to my brother. Is there really even a a point to that? It's more for you than it is for them. But you don't have to make that decision now. You can eat your wings and then decide what you want to do. It's tough to walk away, but makes it hard as you shouldn't have known in the first place. I don't know who has it better. Is it me because I know things now or is it them because they really don't know anything at all? It's them. Easier. I guess since we're in here, 
at Buffalo Wild Wings. I will, um, what I come in here for, for my job, I look for things, right? Yeah, like, like, like wings? N not like wings. Um, you remember the DMV? Yeah, of course. I mean, that was intense. Mm hmm I was looking for something there. Did you find it? Mm-hmm. And what was to... that? It's memory. Who, whose memory were you looking for, though? Uh, it didn't really matter. I was just trying to... get some extra money. So did any deal go down with one of those memories that you got? Did you... You obviously got memories, because that was insane. Let me just... Sometimes you might be looking for one. So I want to... tell you how to do that. Oh, how to... to take, take a memory? Well, when you come in here, sometimes you have to look for things. Oh, gosh, I wish we could speak more freely. I'm just nervous. And I look over at the lady at the counter. Oh, she's just, like, chatting away with one of her coworkers. Okay. Having a soda. At the DMV. I know I shot that guy, but he was in on it. We were trading. He helped me get a memory. But you might need to come in here sometimes by yourself, and you might look for something. And you, to find those, you have to listen really closely. It sounds different to everybody, but once you hear that sound, it will happen over and over and over again. And you'll know that they call them artifacts is nearby. So where did you hear a sound? At the DMV? Yeah. Oh, we've, we've done that one a lot. Simulated a DMV robbery? Oh You've yeah, that, that, that one's like old hat at this point. It's like the goal. It's the trusty. It's the trusty one, you know. So how did you? How did you? How did you get a badge? When you come here, you can think of what you want to be, and then you become it. Wait, you, you can do. You can do that too. You can, can I summon. To, can anything I try you to, want? Go ahead. Can I try to see if I can conjure up some money? You can. Go ahead and roll. <gasps> Just a normal roll? Yep. Just a normal roll. Uh, when you when you came in here, what were you thinking of? Were you thinking of anything? Like what? Were you thinking of your previous role, I should say? Because usually when you come in, you have to think about how you want to fit in. Yeah, I was thinking of the same, whatever the last thing I was emulating is what I came back as. Okay, awesome. Then all of a sudden, Dex, she's wearing that leather jacket you remember from the DMV. Uh, and it looks like she also has a gun. And yeah, she looks exactly like she did on the day of the DMV. And she pulls out a wallet with a badge on one side and she opens it and there's money in it. Shut the fuck up. Uh-huh. Isn't that cool? <gasps> You're special, too. I lost that power. Just try again. I tried three times in a row. Yeah, but you also, you broke something in that room, and it seemed like it gave you some vigor, so you might as well try again. I want $100. Roll. Please. Oh, my God, I got so excited I closed out the program. One sec. <laughs> Okay. That's so intense. <laughs> okay. There it is. Yeah. Did it go? Oh, sh and I just haven't no, seen no, no. it yet. No, no, no. Right here. Okay. Right here. How did oh. I do? Fail. 
unfortunately. It was three threes. Ah, not a hundred dollars. Check my pockets. Are you trying for the same hundred, or are you? You're just no, this you're is, trying yeah, again. I'm just looking, oh, okay, okay. Just, no, I'm looking to see if I had it. Nothing. No. Um, maybe can I listen to see if an artifact is nearby? You absolutely can. What is this like when Lore does this? I have a reason for wanting to listen for it now. I get a determined look on my face, but I just kind of stare off past Dex's shoulder. And it's like when you see someone zone out during conversation, you're like, oh, that person's not paying enough attention. So it kind of looks like I'm focused, but focused on nothing. Caught in a stare. Mm -hmm. Should I roll or anything, PB? When I listen in, it. Muted. What I, huh? PB's muted. No, Said. I'm not. No, oh, I'm not. Okay, cool. I was just very quiet. Oh, on stream though. I don't think I am. Okay, cool. Am I? No sound. There. Yeah. She was. I'm, I'm, cool. Yeah. Okay. Good. When I listen in, mm -hmm. the sound is different for everyone, but I hear. Whispers at night, normally. And I'm listening to see if I hear that right now. Yeah, you do. It's a bit faint, and it seems a little bit distorted, and it's never happened like this before. But I think you can safely assume it might have something to do with Dex being next to you. Okay, do you, do you hear anything weird? Sounds different to everybody, but do you hear? I'm going to listen for it. Ooh, okay. Um, so describe how you're attempting this, Dex. Um, I'm going into my head and I'm saying, listen for a weird sound that will show me an artifact of some sort. Everything she told me, I'm kind of just trying to like sort of how like when i summon money and i like very cliche think it's like you have to like scrunch your face and stuff i'm just really listening for a sound that's different okay go ahead and roll come on i rolled there ah uh, you do hear something, actually. Uh, when you when you focus on it, you hear a familiar sound. It's that whistling that you heard in the desert. I hear. I hear the desert sound. I hear it. You hear something? Yeah, yeah. Something it's that not... shouldn't be there. Yeah, unless we're getting. Like a spaceship's coming over us or something, but yeah, I hear, I hear. Oh, what do you hear? It's like a loud, like. Oh, that's. But not yeah, that intense. It's very yeah. beautiful, kind of. It's like a hummingbird doing it. No, oh, that's nice. Mine's like real creepy whispers. Um. Really? Oh, yeah. Can you change your sound? I don't think so. I think it chooses you. That, that means you can hear it. You hear an artifact. So we're close to... Do we need to leave the wing? We can get wings later. Should we go get the artifact? I mean, don't you want your wings first? How long? Do, is it moving away? What, do we no, have to act quick? I, not unless someone else is here for it, but... Will it, I be it, able to hear that? I mean, they'll hear something different, but if they're looking for it, yeah. Same as I hear... It's faint. I don't know if it's because you're here, but I hear my... my it's just slightly there. I can hear it. But it's uh, going in and out. Usually it's okay, kind of so like a beacon. You just got to get closer to it. We can eat wings and, uh, quickly. 
ish, mm -hmm. and then we'll go get an artifact. Yeah, we could do that. Cool. And that's where we switch scenes. <gasps> So you need to lay down, Lucian. That's fine. Yes. That's a, um, bed downstairs, I think. Run might be holding a uh, a pot or something, but pay no mind to that. Just ask him again for the bed. Yeah, yes. Thank you, I reckon, for allowing us to stay here. Well, this isn't my home. This is Run's. You're not the roommate that he... No, no, I have my own home near the lake. Ah, I see. I, I, Ron and I go off ways back. I saved him from the lake. Of course. We have a name for that for people who save vagabonds, uh, mm. saviors. I'm sorry, I wasn't being pretentious. I did not come up with that name. I see. Ron is technically your savior. Um, Not a bad old maid. I, I appreciate your information. Being so forthcoming, really does okay. drive a sting. Uh, I'll answer whatever I can. He's made a bed for you, so we should, uh, yeah, uh, make, that, make our way down the stairs, yeah? Well, you had more questions for me, didn't you, Autumn? Uh, yes, I did. Well, let me help Lucian down the stairs first so that, you know, he doesn't topple over. <sighs> right, Run's down there, so he should be able to get that bed for you. All, all right, I'll wait here. Run, they're coming down to help Lucian with the bed. Thanks. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, I'll be up here waiting for Autumn's return and questions. Um, okay. All right. Head down the stairs carefully. Okay, got it. Now these steps are like yes, they're easy, a little, easy. little uneven, don't they? Very. Right there, I told yeah. him to get those fixed. Yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a safety hazard. All right, come on. Here we go. Here yeah. We go. All right, Run. Careful, careful of that. Careful of that just shoe, I think. Um, yes. Reckon said that he wants you to take that pot to him. All right. You'll be you'll be good with Lucian. Yes, I'll sit That's here. right. You know where the bed is. You, you were just yes. in this. Okay, I'll be right. there. All right. Thank you. All right, as soon as he is outside, I turn to him. I am no longer worried about the pain and stuff, and I say, every conversation is currency. You understand? He said that we can heal in there, and that he cannot track us out here, and he can't go in after us. We have no crash. We have to go back into the lake now. Right now? Right now. Go. Quickly, quietly, out the door. Out the door? Well, yes, now. Won this door? Yes, he can't follow us, but Run might be able to. What about you? you you're, you're hard. You can't do anything. You well, can't if I don't make it to the lake, jump in. But, 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 but you, but, I, I can't just leave you here. We have to go back to the lake and find another way out. That man is going to sell all of our memories. We're going to end up like Run. Quickly. Uh, 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 um, okay, okay. Uh, what about the, what about the knife? I, I, I've, I've, I've never, I've never stabbed Doesn't anybody matter. before. All right, well, hopefully we won't need to if we're quick. Who's going to open the door? So I am genuinely wounded, so I'm yeah. hoping that she does everything. <laughs> I'm okay. like, I'm, I'm motioning towards her to do it. You can have a plus two for doing it, assuming that uh, you're still holding on to Lucian. Okay. Uh, plus two. Yeah, you open the door. No one can hear you open it. Do you take the knife with you? Oh yeah, she's had the knife the whole time. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay, you are able to slip out undetected. Move quickly this way, that way. Okay, all right. Move as quickly as you can. If you hear Ron coming, then you run. Okay, all right, well, let's try to be quiet. Uh, so that they don't hear us. Yes. Ron, why, why did you bring me a pot? I didn't. That's what that's, uh, Autumn said you needed to, you wanted a pot. I don't know. What do you, what do you need the pot for? I don't. Oh, fuck. 
We cut to Lucian and Autumn struggling. Autumn is holding him and they are moving as quickly as they possibly can down to the beach. Both of you roll, please. And you have a plus. Autumn, you have a plus two. Lucien, you have a plus one. Can I add a memory? How do I do this? Yes, you can. What memory are you adding? You have to you have to share it with everybody narratively. Now this is this might be a little bit. I trust you. Okay. I remember being younger. I remember being 12 years old, and I remember my favorite game that I would play with my brother. And we would sit endlessly over and over playing a game of Trivial Pursuit. And he, most of the time, would win and lord it over me and would claim that I was the inferior twin. And I knew he was joking and it didn't necessarily hurt, but I remember it well. And I would like plus two to challenge accepted against Reckon. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, that means you have the max of a plus three then. Uh, and now you remember something, two things a little bit less from that. Yeah, I know. I'll okay. sort it in a second. Yep. All right. Oh, no way! You son of a... Oh, God. Okay. I'm so annoyed. And Autumn, and Autumn rolled a, a success. Okay, so... Lucian, you are struggling to even walk. Autumn is carrying you, and you are stumbling down towards the beach together. All right, okay. Uh, uh, well, watch that. There's a really big rock right there. Be careful. Remember what he said. Okay, you have to go in there, breathe through it. I understand. Are you talking about the way in? What about, what about you? Are we just gonna go in there and drown? I mean, what, what about the yes. food in the water? We have to hope against hope. Oh, you are one crazy son of a bitch for being so logical. Well, yes, perhaps. I uh, okay. feel rather weak. Okay, frankly. Um. well, I guess just uh, here, follow me into the water. It is in sight now. Uh, uh, you can barely make it out, um, and you start to hear the waves. There. Maybe you hear them before you see it, actually. There, 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 there they are, run. God damn it. I'm not sure how we're going to do this. I would suggest swimming downwards until you don't know which way is up. Do you understand? Okay. Uh-huh. Go, run. Go. Uh, I can't. I'm going to do right, something. Right, right, right. I'm going to do something. I'm going to, like, push myself to the point where it might actually harm me in the hopes that I pass out in the water. Jesus. I'm thinking. Yeah. Okay. Uh, You can go ahead and roll. What are you trying to do? I'm not going to be able to swim down. So my only hope is that I get to the water and I just pass out so that I drown from being passed out naturally. Jesus. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, um, so um, go ahead and roll. And if you trust me, I'll just go ahead and explain if you succeed. Oh my god. All right. Um, (laughs) So we see them approaching the beach. Uh, We also see Reckon and Run. Uh, Reckon turns to Run and says, go get them, I cannot. And we see Run, do you go? Yeah, 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 I run. He takes off like an attack dog. Um, and this is this is wild for us, you, the viewer, and me, because so far we've seen everybody kind of struggling to move around in this space, but not Run. Run is now moving at an incredible speed um, as he heads towards these two on the beach. And I think we see Lucian and Autumn reach the water they break in they are sort of swimming and autumn is trying to drag lucian in and he just reaches up and digs his hand into his own wound and tears it open um Ah. blood starts Mm. spilling everywhere uh Ah. and he looks up at her for a moment and he utters one word before he passes out from the pain oh oh 
back. Uh, Autumn, Lucian, come on. Uh, what are we doing? Why are we running back? Audie, come on. Autumn begins swimming desperately into the water. Oh, jeez. Careful of the mermaid. Ah, uh, damn Get it. Them. I'm joking. Okay, okay, all right. Uh, ah. Autumn, go ahead and roll. Uh, you can have a plus two. Are you still bringing Lucien with you? Are you still holding on to him? While you sm yeah, I figured. Okay. Uh, you can have a plus three then. Oh, I just did plus two. Okay, that's okay. Can you just do a regular plus uh, one down on the bottom of the screen? Just hit that button. I just need to see what it was. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, what are you thinking of when you're swimming? Um... Swim. Just, just swim. Swim until you can't until you can't attend it until you don't know which direction. He's just just keep swimming. Okay. Just keep... Autumn swims into the depths of the lake, and she is bringing a bleeding Lucian along with her. And it gets to the point where she can't see. Uh and do you breathe in, Autumn? Do you breathe in this water? Are you attempting to drown the way he told you to, or are you just swimming? She's holding her breath. It's like she wants to breathe in, but she's too scared to do it. Now run! I don't, I can't, I, I don't, I, I lost we, sight of them. They're under the water. Where's your spitter? We see the two of them reckon yelling from the beach and run looking around wildly trying to find uh, them. Shit. Come back! Uh, all right, uh, okay. Fuck. All right. Deep under the water, we see Autumn holding on. She is still trying to swim farther into the darkness. She grabs Lucian and pulls him close, closes her eyes, and drowns. And that's where we're going to end today's episode. You did it. You saved her. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh. <laughs> oh wow y'all oh, are so, so thought good they were gonna fucking catch me and i was gonna be a prisoner to run and then by the time and he was gonna <laughs> take all my memories i don't even know if that's what's happening but if it is then i just i don't i don't uh it's Dude, awesome I'm, 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 I'm fucking <sighs> shaking so i know i was so <laughs> nervous <laughs> Holy shit. Oh God, it was so good. It was so good. It was so good. Okay, let's do, let's do some shout outs really fast because I know John has to go. John, you first. Brad, no, Brad did everything. Brad did plus three and still couldn't I, get what he oh needed. I can't even believe that. But luckily no. for luckily for <laughs> him though, because sometimes when you guys fail, it's like the worst. It's not always, you're not always rolling for what you want. So sometimes like that failure actually helped him because he pushed too hard on his wound and ended up right. ripping it open and the, he, <laughs> he got what he wanted in the end. Yeah, so yeah, it's no, like, it was gonna have to awesome. yeah, God, there's so much thought. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But um, if he gets into the semi Simulation, which he should, I think, but I don't know. When he comes out, like he's gonna be fucking fucked up. <laughs> like, oh. Yeah. oh, he said we heal better. In heal there. better in the water. He gave me all so. the clues, <laughs> right? Yeah. I was like, this gonna be one way out. This guy's memory. He started to like probe her for memories, and I was like, oh my god, he's making them right now. He's making them for himself, or he's selling that information. Like he said that we're, he can use that information. He can sell it. Oh my god. I don't even know, because as well, Dan also sometimes tries to play innocent characters and comes across as just like the least uh, innocent character, but maybe is actually uh, could just be a researcher <laughs> and could just be just like Lucian and being like, oh, question, question, question. This is interesting. I need to know the answers. But I was like, I don't know. I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I don't trust it. And Run's uh, such a sweetheart. I like, fucking episode, will die on a just, hill for Run. I love him I love so Ron. much. What was I doing he's in just here? So God, I sweet. love him. <laughs> no, I'm super aware of it, and it was horrible because I, <laughs> when I was thinking about it, I was like, I, "Is there a way for us to get Run out of here as he's well?" He's so innocent like, and like so, nice and like I mean, it's like a pinky in the brain see. situation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but like from oh. episode one, you were like, "This guy's like, oh, this guy's trouble. This guy's like a bad." Yeah, I love, I love that so much. I love it. And today, you're like, "Wow." He's just a really good person. <laughs> oh, possibly. Five and shit. He's just like, he's like Reckon's guard dog. Yeah. Yeah. But like yeah. unknowingly, you know, he's like yeah. one of those pit bulls that has been trained evil. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doesn't know. Well, thank you all for watching. Mm. Uh, oh God. I had a, a literally. I'm having. I, I'm DMing literally everyone in the cat. Like as soon as like KPP and I like got done with like a scene, I was just like, that was so fun. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, that makes me so I, happy. Yeah, literally, I'm just like, I, I, we're just having, uh, I personally, and I'm sure everyone else is having a, the time of our lives uh, with this show. So thank you. Uh, thank you so much for watching, of course. And uh, yeah, thank you, PB. This has been, uh, every time I'm just like, damn, that, this is either so fun or so emotional or so stressful or, I, I, you know, it's constantly on the edge of my seat. So thank you so much. And uh, yeah, I have a Twitch channel. I've got YouTube, John Salmon, just look for it. Love you guys. Thank you. And I will be leaving in six minutes to take care of the kids. Okay. It's nothing personal. It's not that I don't want to hear everyone out. I just have a pretty strict time, you know. John yeah. also gave me permission. John also gave me permission. What he said to me very strictly was, I would rather the show have five more minutes than me get a shout out. So everyone go oh. fucking follow him Do right it. now. I would, yeah. If there's ever a time where the show goes till 4.30, I'll just, I'll just go on my way and the show will finish up. I, 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 I'll go with me. Spath, you're up. Uh, let's go. Uh, God. First um, of all, your fucking hair. Yeah. Ah! yeah. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, it's that's it. So I good. swore to myself I wouldn't freak out too much, but it's so good. All right, please continue. Me up. I feel great about it. Um, hi, I'm El Spence. So jealous. Look at my horrible hi. hair. <laughs> Brad said my hair is crap, so I'm never talking to Brad again. Yeah. <laughs> he was just trying to get a rise. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Elspeth. Um, probably won't be casting tonight because the show takes it out of me like every single week. I, I I'm out. sorry. Bacon up at the end. It was fantastic. Uh, it's terrifying in the best way. And I'm already looking forward to next Wednesday. This cast is completely amazing. And thank you for watching. Thank you everyone in the chat for being so responsive and enthusiastic and passionate um, as as the rest of us on on, on Gone. So it's, it's pretty fucky and I love it. I love being here. Oh. It's a good time. It's a good time. Mm, for the record, I'm jealous that your hair looks worse than mine. Just yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> God. So, Brad, you're I up. A, I put a lot of effort into looking <laughs> this incredibly ugly. Uh, I have nothing to uh, to shout out. Um, go and uh, tell Elspeth that she looks wonderful. Go and tell John that he looks wonderful. Go and tell uh, Myth and Mag that he looks wonderful. Go and tell KPP that she looks wonderful. Go and tell Pumpkinberry she looks wonderful. And make sure you tell Dan that he is so scary. <laughs> <laughs> He's so scary. I knew there was a punchline. Yeah, side. I was like, where's he going with this? I was waiting no, for it. I knew it. I was, it. By me. Yeah. I was like, who's he going to rat? Yeah, it's either going to be me or Dan. And that's what I thought. I was like, yeah. So scary. <laughs> I don't even know if, it, like, ugh, man, that, so I was having, like, my own moral dilemma somewhat where I was like, am I just perceiving him to be incredibly scary? Because I feel like Lucian's pretty similar in a way to reckon in that he's just like, oh, you have answers to this thing? Question, question, question. I was doing it to run last week. Right. Uh, there was uh, just, mm -hmm. I was like, there's something off. And I don't know if it's supposed to be that way or if it's just, you know, the, the, the classic Dan thing where Dan's like, oh, I'm just going to be fucking creepy to keep this <laughs> apart or whatever. I was like, I don't know. I can't, uh, sometimes I can't tell with Dan because he's that good of a role player that sometimes he does it to mislead on purpose, kind of. Anyway, I, would I don't never know. do that. Fuck, uh, no. It was, he lied. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. I know he's lying. I've <laughs> been watching all of the shows he's been in on Table Stories since all the way, way back when. What was it? What was the first one? The on screen? The on screen. Yes. Um, oh my God. Yeah. Characters so, were so uh, good in that. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know if I made the right decision or the wrong decision here by, by, by well, we'll find doing out. that with, with uh, Lucian, <laughs> but it, it just felt that way. Um, and, it made for uh, yeah, a crazy episode, though. Like, I, I, yeah, that was awesome that you, yeah, you both guess, bailed yeah. and the, the, yeah. The weird synchronicity kind of connection that the two of you had, the like exact autumn, opposite of cool. what I was expecting to happen. I thought yeah. I'd be laid up for weeks. Yeah, just same. I there, also just thought just that as well. Questioning and stuff. The last thing I expected was to fucking grab autumn and run into the fucking lake. <laughs> like him, it was so unlike Lucian that I think autumn was just caught off guard. Like, holy shit, he's not joking. Yeah, and he, mm. it's important. Not yeah. 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 Ironically, Lucian really doesn't want to lose his memories, and I had to lose one to. To fail as well as yeah. nothing. Yeah. That killed yeah. me, man. That killed yeah, not me. That, not that Lucian really knows. Uh, anyway, yeah, I don't know. I just I love I love it. It's it's super fun. It's very nerve wracking. I get very into it, and I and I need to go and like again lay down. Have somewhere. a lay down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Week. 
Yeah, I don't know. There you go. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Brad is also... Wait, you finished it today, didn't you? Dragon Age. Yeah. So you yes. can't shout me out. Either. Origins? I can. Origins. Are you continuing the <laughs> series? You are, yes. Yeah, I'm doing the a yeah. DLC that starts tomorrow if you want to watch Oh, Perfect. yeah. Perfect, yeah. Okay. Go. And I will just say this. You should maybe go watch the VOD as well because he's done stuff I didn't even know was possible in this game. He got like an end that I didn't even know existed. Yeah. So just Ooh. fucking if you're in for a ride, that's for sure. Um, and yeah, then he crazy. also GMs the Sunday show that KPP and I are on, Dying Order. Oh my which God, is I'm so looking forward to next mm, week's episode. It's so good. Last week's episode was like up there with the tournament, John. It was so good. It oh, was so I good. Love that. Yeah, so you got to go watch that. Okay, anyway, I'm done showing you. been here. writing a thesis this week in preparation for The PowerPoint this is Sunday. coming. Yes. This yes. <laughs> the PowerPoint <laughs> comes this Sunday. That will all make sense on Sunday. Lovely. Sunday. Speaking of, KPP, you're up. Hi, I'm Katie Peters Plays, and I played Lore for you today. John, it was so fun off you. That was so fun. <laughs> I literally, I was like, I'm just, I love that. I'm like, yo, PB, can we go to Buffalo Island? She's like, yeah, go ahead. I'm like, I'm like yes, <laughs> and girl. You got wings. <laughs> That's just wings in Louisiana as fine dining. Like, oh, yeah. so I, good. I was like, dude, whenever my friends come here, I always want to go to Buffalo Island. I was like, That's Dex. That is a <laughs> yeah, that is a hundred percent Dex. Yeah. Yep. Also, Take I saw some people in the chat from the south that were like, that is exactly how the situation would have run down with the the cashier being like, Oh yeah, don't even worry about it. Just pay after you eat. They're very that's awesome. Yeah. So that's, yeah, that wasn't that even was meta. Cool. That was just yeah. real, like and that's what yeah. I there's uh, so good. Talk about this forever. KPP yeah. was so good. <laughs> Sorry, were please so finish good. your show up, KPP. I was literally sweating every time I was watching the four of you. So I was sitting here like this, like a little golem, and I'm glad you guys couldn't see me. <laughs> <laughs> I literally was. There was a point where I was like, oh God, I'm glad that my camera's covered. But I, I'm i playing Animal Crossing. I played it for the first time today, and I am now one of you if you oh. play that. Oh, it's, wow. your code. I, I need your code. <laughs> <laughs> also, the dude's totally criminal. This guy's got to be a Bob boss. This Wait, Tom the, Nook the, thing. the guy who sells so, you into slavery? The raccoon oh, thing. Oh, dare you all. Yeah. How I knew dare it. you besmirch the name of Tom Nook? No, the man is a creep. <laughs> I have a mortgage. This man gives you a free, interest-free loan, payback whenever the hell you want. Uh -huh. This is not how the world works. He is a saint. Clearly, they are talking about Reckon, Dan. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm on Twitter and Twitch. You can say hi if you want. Please do. <laughs> Please do. Love it. All right, Dan, you're up. You Nook supporter. Hi. Yeah, of course I am. Of course I am. You will never get an interest-free loan pay paybackable whenever you want. Never. <laughs> never. Anyway, hi. <laughs> I'm Domestic Dan, and clearly I have had financial background uh, for the last 15 years or something, so yeah. I'm very passionate about this. Uh, you can find me at Domestic Dan everywhere. I do cooking streams, lifestyle streaming, variety casting, all that fun. Hi, John, we love you. Uh, and uh, yeah, tonight after this, pretty shortly, I am doing an entire roast chicken uh, because I need its carcass to make ramen this weekend. Um, I am making ramen from scratch this weekend, so I have to cook a chicken for some of that um, oh God, to get really? some broth and some bone stock and then more bone stock out of rib bones I because- I that. When are you streaming that? Uh, the ramen itself will be uh, Sunday. <gasps> this Sunday? Mm -hmm. Oh man, I love homemade ramen. Mm -hmm. It's it, I do the full full two day process with the bone oh, bone boiling my and goodness. everything. Yup. So anyway, I'm doing part one of that today. Yay! Right after this, right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. we'll be go Don't worry, in chat, we'll be going over. What did you say? Hi. What did you say? Probably, what? Hmm? Sorry, anyway, I, me. nothing. Yes. Anyway, I was reckoned today. Uh, I'm glad I can make everyone doubt everything. That is my goal. <laughs> And one of my it. favorite parts was use the just the interaction where Reckon was like, oh, yeah, it's like the machine and blah, blah, blah. And both Lucy and Autumn were like, OK, this is the way of the world. And then Run comes in and is like, oh, oh, this religious nut. It's like <laughs> so good. So good. <laughs> Loved it. Anyway, speaking of myth, you're up. Hi, everyone. I am Mythomatic. You can uh, follow me anywhere on uh, the internet known as uh, on Twitter or Twitch. I, You know what? I, I'm going to start this one over again. <clears throat> Myth, you're up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Hey, everybody, I'm Myth. Uh, you can find me on Twitter and Twitch. There we go. Uh, all of the same name. I played Run today. It was tons of fun uh, playing with all of you. It always is. But uh, it was today was really cool. Um, I'm learning how Run works as we are seeing it. Um, and I wasn't expecting Run to go this way, and I really love it. It's yeah. just, it was really cool uh, to... And it, I didn't realize how much more comfortable I would be when I had somebody else that knew about the world with me because that was so like as soon as that happened i was like oh this is great we can we can do this um but uh it was it was wonderful i really i can't wait for next week i can't wait to uh to see all the uh all everybody's comments in the discord it's my favorite thank so you good. thank you uh and i am pb i was the narrator today and uh, you can find me at Twitch and Twitter at Pumpkinberry. But I'm also here on Sundays uh, for Brad's show, Dying Order. Or I play an old woman. And I'm also here on Fridays for our new horror show. <gasps> and I play a detective. It's really fun. Uh, yeah, and then the only thing I, on Thursdays, I do a recovery room. So, and we just talk about the show. So if you want to come by, it's usually around 1 p.m. Eastern. Awesome. Um, and... More importantly, though, if you go to, I revamped the website, so everyone should go look at it. Tablestory.tv slash gone. There's a new cast member on there. So go take a look. But you can find all of the links to everybody's socials and things on there. So go check it out. Um, go follow everybody, please, while you're there. I mean, you're there looking at the surprise cast member anyway. So you should probably, you should probably just go click on all of that stuff. Okay, that's it. That's it. Oh, and if you want to support Table Story... One of the best ways you can do that, other than smacking the follow button here and just telling everybody about the show, is to head over to our Patreon. Uh, we've got character sheets for you and your table. Um, you can create NPCs for your favorite show, including this one, believe it or not. And now you might have a better idea of how those get woven in. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Am I forgetting anything, Brad? Am I forgetting anything? Uh, anyone? I don't think I am. Dan? You, you got got yourself? Did yeah, you? I did. Didn't I? Yeah, yeah I did. I do Gone. stuff. Uh, Show up tomorrow during your recovery room. It's a great time. Right? Yeah, that's it's really good. Yeah. She starts it before I'm awake. It's wonderful. Yeah. And then you wake up and come in and it's lovely. Um, What about iTunes review? Oh my God. Yes, please. If you can rate and review the show on iTunes, you would make my week. Please, please, please. Um, That helps us a lot. We're, we're kind of hoping that we get on new and noteworthy on iTunes. And that's only doable if um, people rate and review and like download the podcast version of the show in the first like six months, I think. So let's tr let's do it. And other than that, thank you so much for hanging out, tuning into the show, your theories in the Discord, your crazy ass fan art. It's so good. And uh, we'll see we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.
Are you all right? Oh. You did it. I did it. I oh. am. I am all How right. hot it is here. Oh. Oh. Yes. 